Welcome to the final episode of this short series of Chaotic Neutral Plays Dungeons & Dragons. My name is Tom, I'm your Dungeon Master, and I'm joined by these wild things. Hello, I'm Laurie, and I'm playing the cold-blooded Itchard. Hello, I'm Holly, and I am playing the moon-obsessed Lever Waxman. I'm Dom and I'm playing the necromancer who's scared of the undead, Dr. Lucian Moores. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Blair and I'm playing a very, very cool pirate cat, Toby and Tufts. Hello, I'm Sullivan and I'm playing your next town master, Slambo <laughs> Wilkins. <laughs> Votes for Slambo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tilly and I'm playing the party animal, <laughs> Delmarsh Walker. Behold, it's me! I'm from the future! Bad news, we all live on the moon now. Good news, I'm here to interrupt the bit where I usually plug stuff to plug some other stuff because we have new things and updates going on our Patreon right now. But first of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who have watched this series so far and come on this wild journey with us. I, it's something I've wanted to make since before I even joined this company. I am so glad that we finally got to do it. So thank you so much for watching, enjoying, liking, leaving a comment, all of that good stuff. And thank you especially to the people who have joined our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no rosbard and watch that exclusive prologue episode. Because in all honesty, this series cost a whole lot of dosh to make. And we don't really, really stand a chance of making any of that money back because we don't have a sponsor and YouTube ad revenue is not like it was in the early 2010s when anyone with 10k subs could have a jet ski and a cigar and go out with Claudia Schiffer. Was she, was she hot at that time? I don't know. But we wanted to make this pilot season to show you guys what we could come up with, what kind of characters we would create, what kind of crazy, horrible, sadistic world Tom would come up with, and give the channel a serious kickstart. So if you've been enjoying this show full of completely normal pigs, then please do consider supporting us in any way you can. But how do I support you, Laurel? I hear you cry. Well, the easiest and the most fun way for you guys is going to be supporting us on Patreon at the $10 tier, where not only do you get access to that prologue episode, which shows the first hunt our characters ever went on, we also have now audio versions of every single episode for those of you who are more podcast listening inclined. We also have uncut versions of every episode, which include a little bit more content and also have all of the cast on screen at all times so you can see their reactions to every single major moment. Episodes one and two are live right now on the Patreon with the rest to follow in the coming days because export times and upload times take ages. That's not even all of it because our good friend, the reclusive cartographer who did all of the maps for this series has very, very kindly given us those maps to give away to you guys on the Patreon. So if you want to get your hands on the battle maps that we used in this series and pour them into your campaign, go on our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no rolls barred, and you can download all four maps that we used in this series, including the one from the prologue and including all the different versions that he's done for his own Patreon. Alternatively, you can get your very own legally distinct iBlob mascot newt t-shirt over at our new merch store on norollsbard.com. And of course, if you've been enjoying the series, another way to just support us is tell other people to watch it for God's sake on social media, Reddit, what have you. Any support you guys can give us would be greatly appreciated. Now, I know from the comments, some of you are concerned about what happens next with these characters at the end of this season one, our pilot season. Don't worry, we're pretty concerned about what happens with them too, especially after what happens with this. And we do not want this to be the end of their story. We're working very hard behind the scenes to work out how we can make a season two and how we can make that economically viable so we can keep making seasons of this until Itchard is level 20. Until Itchard is level 20. We're going to have more updates on what comes next for Chaotic Neutral Plays D&D Season 2 in the very near future and an update about what the channel is going to do month to month in the meantime. It's the current plan is very exciting. Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you to Valkyrie RPG for sending us the dice. Thank you to Mike Andrew Early for the art. Thank you to the reclusive cartographer for the maps, which you can get on our Patreon, patreon.com forward slash no Bard. Back to Tom in the studio. This is the final episode of our short starter campaign. And we've only just begun to weave the legend of the wild things and explore who these characters are. We've spoken before about how the role of Dungeon Master can be 
an intimidating one to take on and the pressure that can come with being the master of the rules. There can be a similar pressure around being master of worlds. So I'm going to share some advice that DMs have been giving over and over again over the years. Don't worry about making an entire continent of kingdoms, factions and world spanning events unless that kind of thing is your jam. Just make a town with a problem and send your adventurers in to fix it. Give them a space to get a feel for their characters and each other while you get a feel for how they play as well as what kind of game you want to run. And then go from there. The more you play, the more the story will unfold from the player's choices. Case in point, this episode you're about to see was originally going to be very different, but even fate must bow before the hearts of heroes and the roll of the dice. One final, final word. No actual play series you see online, anywhere, will ever be as fun or as profound as the game you play with your friends. So if you haven't already, gather your party and tell your own stories. Now, where were we last week? Oh, don't worry, I'll tell you. That's my, that's my job. Don't worry. Don't worry, it's my job. It's been so it all long. goes out my brain table, farmer. <laughs> Last episode, our heroes were sent by Townmaster Fodder to the hero's graveyard to recover perhaps the only thing that could stop the hunter's hunt. However, when they arrived, it was more than what they were looking for they dug out of the dirt, as the wild things had to contend with the shambling undead and a big old worm oh. right at the end. However, the six of you made it back to safety and with the help of the town blacksmith, uncovered a horned and burning head within the cold iron box buried in the graveyard. I say six of you. One of us was a little distracted by a voice calling from within the trees. Mm -hmm. And as this chapter of our campaign comes to a close, is this the final stop for our haggard heroes? Maybe so. But what was it Motorhead said <laughs> about roads with no end? You must be here to hear me wax philosophical and quote 80s metal power yeah. Yeah. As Chaotic Neutral plays Dungeons and Dragons. <gasps> oh, shut, 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 shut. <laughs> We rejoin five of you assembled in the entrance hall of Irina's keep, staring into the empty sockets of a burning horn skull. Um. Who's <laughs> had to that as them? I mean, I imagine it's the hunters. Oh. Is oh. <laughs> I feel a bit slow now. Yeah, me too. Wow. <laughs> I just thought yeah. random heroes had. Oh, uh, no, but I think it. Oh no, that makes yeah, more probably sense, doesn't hunters. it? That makes yeah. that makes. Do you think? Sense. Do you think we've got to give him his head back or destroy his head? Do you think he's just I pissed off we... us and have a head? I'd be pissed off. Yeah, he's yeah, buried in a weird graveyard behind a worm. Is it like that fable about the lion with a thorn in its paw? Oh, you just have to pull out. Oh. And, you, and you put out the thorn. Maybe in Maybe we have to pull out the horn. But they said, they, <laughs> hang on. But they said that the, the, what we'd find in the graveyard was a, a weapon yeah. to yeah, to defeat the is hunter. This, sorry, is this the weapon that you met, Talmaster Father? The legend spoke of the hero's burning glory. I think we might be looking at it. Okay. Winces a little as the light, though less intense as when the skull was uncovered still blazes. River walks over to the box and with a, uh, a frosty light emanating from their hand begins to pass these big blacksmith's hands over the box and the metal rent by the axe and by River's hammer and chisel 
begins to mend itself. For the time being, I think it's best kept safe. Every second this head was exposed, I fear the hunter might have felt where it was. I suppose for ages we put a hole in every water the rest of it. Is the Contessa in the room? No. Oh. But also, the hunter's head was buried in the graveyard, the hero's graveyard. Mm. Was the hunter a hero? Well, mm. maybe, but it was also the weapon that supposedly killed the hunter years ago. This sounds it's like something up. someone we could do with someone remembering for us. I was going to say, we need to go back. Is it sundown oh. yet? Oh, yeah. Um, it is getting dark. Should we head to Memoria, get our answers for some other things, and then maybe ask him yeah. a few more questions? Yeah. Should we go and do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. cool. Right. Um, just before we go, can I have a quiet word with you, um, Master... Oh, I can never remember your name. Fodder. 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 Thank you. Can I have a quick, quiet word just in the corner over here? <laughs> just a quick one. He... I'll try come to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to move and instantly stumbles. Um, oh. River gets up to right them a little bit. Um, of course. So quietly I go up to him and go, um, how long has she been feeding on you? What's the deal here? He looks at himself. I feel it's been a while. You're like a, like a shell. There can't be much left in you. What happens then? If I was a shell, I'd at least be something hard on the outside. I feel like skin hanging on bone. Yeah, you, you look like it, mate. Um, Is that your diagnosis, Doctor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm unwell. <laughs> Oh yes, and but I just this Countessa. What's the power she's got over you specifically? Why are you doing this? Is this for the benefit of the whole place? The what? only safe way to the hero's graveyard is through this tunnel. And she's just going to let you go now, is she? I believe she is honourable. Mm. She wants. Ultimately, what I want to return to civilization. Yeah, I bet she does. Hmm. Okay. Sometimes, well. Lucian, we try to make deals with devils to get what we need. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't always work out very well, though. That's my experience. Well, as long as you know what you're doing, I was worried you might overdo it, you know. <laughs> I don't when the fun stops, stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, I don't want to make any aspersions of what your relationship is with this woman. <laughs> but, you know, there's a point where it won't be worth it, mate. Okay, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll give Sol a moment there. Previous relationship. That's what he thinks it is. The adverts. Stop, stop. Get yourself a safe word. I have what I need from her now. And unless I need to beat an expeditious retreat. I hope this is the last we'll see of that tunnel, and of her. Well, if you ever need uh, some help dealing with her, should she uh, maybe not be so, um, if she doesn't let things go back to normal, I'm sure I can probably recommend someone. Um, not me though. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Um, he must have just enough strength to hold out a hand to yours to shake. Uh, I give him a 
a limper shake than he gives me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Doctor, for looking after my flock. No worries. Am I correct in thinking you are headed out? Mm -hmm. So if you want to stay, then do tell me what you'd like to do and I'll try and fit as much of it in as I can before everything ends happily for everybody. Mm. I'm be so happy. I think well, we'll, the I'm Temple of Forgotten Gods is yeah. where we kind of want to go. Yeah. However... We don't have... <laughs> yeah, Lever was the one who was going to ask about, who yeah. had asked about yeah, the question, and I'd asked my own question, so I'm interested in going for that, but where's Lever? Or do, should I, I mean, say, she did where's tell Lever? Us, <laughs> she, well, when she was in her tiger form, and as I uh, established, like, could understand everything that she was communicating to me in tiger form. Yeah, it's probably obvious. Um, yeah. I want to oh. just take a beat on that. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. That's a significant thing to remember. Okay. Carry on. It's just blinking really slowly, right? Cats. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, she seemed like, well, she was telling me that. Um, she needed to check on something and that's why she gave us the box to continue on without her but i think she's looking for something there so we i can leave her to it or I mean, like well, just sort of half out in the wild what mm, if that worm scary. thing comes back i mean yeah yeah yeah, yeah we probably should, like, we could go check on her. someone behind mm. yeah. Don't want to leave anyone behind. Can we still go back into the tunnel? Do you think it's still I, open? I think so. I think so. I mean, I guess we could try. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome to. Um, uh, the blacksmith finishes mending this metal box, <laughs> um, and uh, the door to the keep opens again, and in steps this very shy looking man. All you can really make out from his kind of form is these half moon glasses. Um, Father goes, oh, Walter, old friend, keep this somewhere safe. I feel we'll be needing it soon. I'm, I want to scrutinise this guy a bit closer. Before you do, uh, we're going to check in on uh, Lever down by the edge of the woods. Mm -hmm. So can I still hear my name? Just the once you heard it, but you heard it. Can I work out where it was coming from outside? It's coming from behind the tree line, deeper into the woods. Past the iron fence. Past the iron fence. I'm going to go towards the iron fence and I'm going to shout, Hello? Neither. Hello? Who's there? Neither. Who is it? Do you know me? I'll be going if, if I don't hear anything. As you say, I'll be going if I don't hear anything. A scent wafts in, just faintly. It's the smell of wood. Mm-hmm. Is that resin, maybe? Mm-hmm. And then something floral. Mm-hmm. I... You shillelagh? And my um, quarter staff goes up in the in the white light, and the, all the jasmine blossoms open. And I say, "Tell me who you are and why you're here, or I'll come over there and I'll kill you myself." Come. The voice whispers to you. Don't go over the Don't fence. Over the Do fence. you need to stay on the pan? I can smell wooden resin. <laughs> no lever! How does this fence look? Can I break it down? You can bolt it. I can bolt it. Bolt it, yeah. Bolt it. I can jump it. Yeah, it's not high. Oh, lever. I jump it. I jump it. Oh, lever. Okay, um, we're going to go back to the keep. So, should we go and check I on her then? Yeah, yeah. I guess. She's probably not a cow. She's probably not just anything dangerous at all. She's a sensible person, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> probably, but we should check on her. Yeah, we'll like, don't want to leave we'll anyone behind. Exactly, yeah. exactly. While, while they're discussing that, I'm, I'm having a good look at this Walter guy. 
I want to see how much his skin moves. Give me a uh, either perception or investigation. Either is fine. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, ooh, hello. Oh, I'm quite the P.I. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, one more thing, Mr. Walter? <laughs> Where are you going with that box? Why's your skin all wiggling? <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about worms? Big worms. Worms that talk. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's a 19 plus four. Ooh. Okay, oh, no. you're looking for signs of wriggling under the skin. Yeah, or any, yeah, just any, anything that gives me the creeps. Okay. <laughs> Nothing shy. wriggles under the skin. Oh. Nothing gives you the creeps. Oh, good. However, oh. <laughs> <laughs> on a roll that high. Just one more thing. This shyness seems more than just social awkwardness. He is actively avoiding one of your party. Too hard to tell which one. Well, as I can test if it's me, because I'm going to walk right up to him and go, um, "Do you need a hand with that box?" No, no, I'm fine, brother. We could get one of these to help. Each uh, I'd be or happy to help. It's, or it's very light, really. What about Slambo? Do you want Slambo to help? <laughs> <laughs> As you point towards Slambo, he <laughs> recoils even further and says, No, I've, um, let me take care of this. Slambo, come over here, we need your help with something. Oh yes, I can help with things. <laughs> what do you need help with? What's going on? Talk to him. Slambo, you find yourself looking into the half moon glasses of a man you met only a few days ago. A man who asked you about your horse. Hello there. Good to see you again. Oh, and it is also good to see you. We had a very good chat the other day about a horse. What do you mean the other day? What? You know, the other day. Remember we were in that big hall? Here yeah. to chat to, chat to me about a horse. It's very, it's very nice to see you again. And you, again. <laughs> Did you well, I, I, I best, <laughs> I best be taking this box now. Okay. Yes. Are they fucking? Well, after one of them didn't call the other one, I think. <laughs> um, merry <laughs> holidays. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Glasses, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> and, and Walter Glasses makes his way. <laughs> okay, that's canon now. Walter Glasses. Walter Glasses makes his way out the entrance of the keep the box. <laughs> what was that about? Um, How do you know each other? No, well, yeah, he got really annoyed about you know, the stuff I'm wearing. Uh, so, you know, he got really all, you know, all in my face the other day. It was just, you know, he wanted you to take the glove off. He, he, yeah, well, yes, but <laughs> it, it, it was, you know, he just. Wow. He, but that was essentially it, though, yeah. He did want it, he, he did want it all off. And wow. Then, oh, hey. So I, you know, and I explained it's the only clothes I've got. Oh my God. What, what a, what a line. <laughs> oh, I don't know why he's here. I've ne I, I mean, before the other day, I'd never met him. But if you met him in the hall. Yes. Why is he here working for Mayor What's his tits? Yeah. Fodder. <laughs> Fodder's still in the room, right? Fodder's still here. I'm right here. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Damn, Master What's his tits. Yeah. <laughs> well, I called you Mayor at least. Yeah. Mayor What's his tits. Uh, <laughs> Mayor What's his tits. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how long has Walter been working for you? Oh, Walter's a very old friend. Very old. Mm. All right, that is weird. That's weird. Because oh. we met him in the other town. Yeah. Has been here the whole, how long has it been here for? Destroyed. We arrived around the same time as you. Oh, oh okay. okay that, that. Right. But it was our friend. So, hang on. Do mm. you know anything about Slambo's clouds? <laughs> Can I inside check him? Yeah. While this is happening. Hold on. Have you rolled it? I've rolled it. I do kind of want to make this uh, yeah? 
an open roll. We'll set the DC for this at a nice good hard DC that isn't crazy hard, I think. We'll make an 18. An 18. Well, my insight Be beatable, is plus, plus one. Beatable oh. but hard. You can do it. 12. Oh. 11 plus 1. So with these kind of things, I always want to give you something unless you roll a natural 1. What exactly are you trying to read in him here? I'm literally trying to... I'm trying to see... When when I've asked him if he recognises anything about Slambo's clothes, whether he does recognise them, depending on... I, I'm assuming he's going to say no to me, but... No. Uh, robes. Why'd you ask? Well, just because they're just so fancy and nice. Just thought someone who lives in such a nice place as would maybe know something about them. Just trying to find out more about my friend. All I can give you is he's hiding something, whether that's big or small. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, <laughs> Del. Oh dear. You hear a voice speak your name? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not jumping over any fences, Tom. Get away from me! Get away from me! No fences to jump over, but a soft, accented voice comes to you from up the stairs. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think she wants to suck my blood. <laughs> Get it, girl! Oh my god. Yes, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Any response from Del Marsh Walker? Uh, yep. Um, you just see Del say the word yup in response to nothing. Um, you're right there, Del. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, the Contessa was just calling for me. Just, oh, I'll yeah? just say my name. Yeah. Are you gonna? Do you want to go check? I can come with you if you want someone yeah, to sure. be with you, yeah. just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in case of what? She seems like a nice lady. I don't get all this. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, if you want, uh, if you want to just go on your own, that's fine. Don't go on your own. Why? Just remember, she tries to bite your Normans now. Mm -hmm. Bite me? Why would she bite me? What just. You could always break a balustrade off the banister, sharpen the tip. Yeah, uh, yeah. That makes a good stake. That's a good one. It won't, we won't need Here's it. some garlic. <laughs> <laughs> Freshens of breath. Oh my god, she's a vampire. Uh, oh, yeah. Probably. Probably. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, How did I not see that? <laughs> I think she's been okay. sucking old Mayor Watts' tits dry, to be honest. Well. Um, again, I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> I think they've got a thing going on. <laughs> She might want to have a thing with me. Uh, Vampires. Look at the new father. <gasps> but not the new town. Not the new town master. We've got one of those. I wonder if that's his real name. Or the new vice town master. Got one of those. Right, well, what? <laughs> one of you had better come with me then, in that oh, case. Oh, I'll take the necromancer as well. Come what? On. No, I don't want to go. No, come no, on. No. What the? No, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come <Okay>. on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I like put my arm around you. I'm like, come on, you'll be fine. Are you, are you guys taking the flaming head to the? It's been taken by, Walter. Been taken by Walter. So Walter, if you guys are going upstairs, I think what I might do is just go slam. I thought we should really check on the bar. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. That's a good chat. Okay, so you three heading upstairs. You're checking on Lever. No, this let's, is a bad idea. Let's cut to Lever. I'm running as fast as I can, shouting. Um, where are you? Come out! Where are you? Show yourself! You cowards! It Where are you? It takes mere moments before the denseness of the trees makes the path behind you unseeable, for want of a more florid word. And despite the lateness in the day and the heaviness of the canopy, there seems to be some light coming nearby. You hear warm laughter in the air and glimpse something flitting through the trees. 
Is it you messing with me? It's what you do, isn't it? You mocking me? Come down, talk to me if you go. I'm out here now. I don't know where I am. Come down. I'm just like I'm just looking around and trying to follow whatever that thing is. I'm just kind of looking around lost between the trees, just spinning and spinning and spinning around. This slight shape flits again between the gaps in the trees, lit by this amber green glow, and then stops. Backlit, you can't make out the details until it steps closer and closer and closer until standing in front of you, maybe half a foot taller than you, a beautiful green female form, a mane almost of leafy hair, wild tangle of vines twisting around her body. Leave her, she says, and kisses you straight on the mouth. Okay, we're going to go back to a uh, gang of three heading up the stairs. Oh no. Hello? The door to uh, Irina's study, from what you can make of this very sparsely decorated building, is open. I <clears throat> guess we just go in. <clears throat> yeah. Hello? Irina? Come in, darling. You do not need to knock. Ah. You are always invited here. I poke my head in through the door and I'm like, can, can I come in too? And, and this one. I pull you <laughs> down. <laughs> so you're <head> is <laughs> Sorry, I, I uh, didn't want to exclude my friends. Uh, it's quite some company you keep, but such is the way with heroes, no. So is it alright then, if, if we come in too? Sorry, I don't want to... Hi. There is a look of recognition on this tall woman's face as she sees you. Val, Val, Val. Uh, yes. Do, do I know you? No, but I know my legends. <sighs> How are you finding dry land? Mm. Oh, you must be uh, quite old to have heard of me then. I am very well read. Mm. To be honest, I... Uh, I feel like I've changed a lot over these past hundred years. How long? Oh, You're what old? No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I don't, we'll we'll catch up. We'll have a drink sometime. It's fine. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, I miss the sea. You wouldn't happen to know anything about maybe like a way to be able to be on the sea with like without upsetting people probably not at all. I'm, I've been promised to find out about this anyways uh, anyways if you want to be on the sea <sighs> you find a boat yeah I do need to find a boat I suppose I haven't had a boat in a long time well anyways I am sorry my reputation probably does not uphold to what you read uh, Time wears on us all, but some of us, we wear it well. Oh, vampire as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, We're no, all no. vampires, didn't no. we tell you, Lucia? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a vampire. Though that would be cool, that would be pretty cool. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I think she knows. It is okay, it is some things that I get a lot. Yeah, I'll bet. The castle, the name. People make assumptions based on what they think they see. All oh, right, all oh, right. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I mean, sometimes those assumptions are probably right, I imagine. 
Sometimes things are what they seem. Well, if you're so well read, you might be able to answer a question I've got um, while we're in the business of asking questions uh, of whatever you are. I'll withhold judgment for now. <laughs> um, I got visited the other day by a, an odd man. Uh, pronouns were we and us. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, pretty sure he was a load of worms. Um, and then <laughs> just now we were out in your garden uh, digging up this stuff. Uh, quite a lot of skeletons and oh zombies and whatever, assuming, you know, the back. And um, <laughs> uh, anyway, this great big worm pops up and uh, I can't help but feel like it looked at me like it knew me. Now, I've not had prior many relationships with worms, so I just wondered if you knew anything about that. It looked to me like it knew it. It was playing on my mind. I'm just like this. You saw it! I think, I think, you, I think you pissed it off with your like magic fizzy no, hands. It would have That's when it started looking at you. Yeah, I've sorry. also sorry seen this worm this. guy. And then it sat down, it lay down. It like, didn't attack us, did it? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> it looked at me and then it lay down. You don't know what that man, <laughs> that man said to me. He was going on. Did you on. scratch its tummy too? <laughs> I, it you was, should have tried. <laughs> you say loads of stuff about, mm. oh, we, you know, we're worms and we know all about you. <laughs> <laughs> Dell's had a hell of a five minutes <laughs> just finding out all this stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, clearly. I, I don't think I have the answers you are looking for. However, from my experience perspective, it sounds like something very old has taken an interest in you. You don't think it's because of Melnick or the Ever Living, do you? These things happen oh. sometimes. So you're not you're not a, a the word vampire. <laughs> 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 Just in case you didn't know what I meant. <laughs> the uh, word could have been virgin. Yeah, it could have been virgin. She's not a virgin, right? She's not a virgin. She's not a virgin. She's not a virgin. She's not a virgin. <laughs> oh, it's wow. really freaking us out the fact that you <laughs> might be a virgin. <laughs> Very worried about virgins. <laughs> Old <laughs> woman living alone in a castle. <laughs> Rings of the V word. <laughs> Are you afraid of me, Dal? Well, I wasn't until they piped up that you you might enjoy the taste of. The B word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if it'll send you into a frenzy if I use the word. <laughs> there is no risk of me losing my cool. You're a hunter, Del. Tell me, when you look at me, what does your instinct say? You seem like a cool older woman. I think you guys are being a bit silly. Oh, I don't have a problem with it. I just want to clarify. It's it's just this one. Would you? <laughs> well, excuse me. I've had a, you know, my career has been spent going in and out of crypts. I've seen a lot of weird stuff. I'm on edge about this kind of thing, okay? It's better to be safe than sorry. Otherwise, it's a real pain in the neck, pun intended. You do trust your friend. Hmm? Yeah. Then, I do. would you do me the courtesy of giving me a moment with her? Okay. I, I look to you to see if you are comfortable with that. Sure. It's, I think it's fine. Yeah. I mean, if she wanted to kill me, she would have done it earlier. Yeah. Fair. I assume she just has something she wants to ask me about. So. Three screens. It's not, a, it's not a sex thing. It's oh, fine. okay. It's fine. Oh, it's a shame. Boy. 
Yeah, <laughs> as we step out the room, we go, ever since I started working for that necromancer, weird stuff all the time, people dressed as worms. Okay, and we're going to crossfade to <laughs> Slambo and Itchit on their way down to... season to, to be jolly and joyous. Follow oh, that. Oh, <laughs> oh, we learned it. We learned oh, it. Oh, learned it now. <laughs> there we are, hopping along, like Kermit and Tiny Tim. <laughs> Who and who? I'm not saying it's slam, but I'm saying oh, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> so now you just sound like you don't know what the Muppets oh, are. Oh no! I can't have that on the internet! <laughs> when, the, like, when, a, when a beat in the song ends, I think it's just, just going to turn to Slambo and just say, Slambo, um, what's going on with you? Like, people keep coming up talking to you. Like the guy with the moon glasses, saw him at the hunter's Mark, and now he's here. And every time you sort of meet, you get a bit freaked out about him. Like, what's going on? Well, he's, um... I don't know him very well, but I know that he's... He's part of a group of, 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 of real watters. Real, real watters. And, um, I don't think, I don't think, I think he's suspicious of me, and I, I worry about that. But he's got no reason to be suspicious of me, I'm fine. Uh, how, do you, how do you know the Russells? Well, uh, I... Well, before this, I was, um... I was sort of made to be part of this... group, this, um, this, 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 um... I suppose I would, I would have called it at the time a religion. Oh. Um, I didn't really want to be there, but yeah. um, but they um, they took me, and they they sort of almost you know made me the man I am today. Really, <laughs> they really sound like this before. No, and um, yes, yeah, so it was just a lot of posh blokes really, and they would they would all sort of hang around, and I would just sort of help them out. Lots of you know rituals and things like that. Yeah. Um, and they're really nasty. Hmm. So, um, one day I realised I was stronger than I thought. And I, I left. Um, because they were going to do something really rather horrible. Oh. Anyway, I didn't have any clothes, any other clothes, so I've just, um, <laughs> Ended up sort of wandering around for well over a year just in these robes. Yeah. It's some. Um, it's brave to live. To live all you know. Thank you. So. Well, you're brave too. Well, that's. Uh, yeah, I guess. You know a little bit about people telling you what to think, what to feel. Controlling everything. A lot of robes where I come from too. Really? Yeah. Worn by certain people, but... Why did you leave your place? Um... Sort of... Stop believing in it. Want to see if it's... Real. Maybe we'll find out. Well, we can find out together. Yeah. Let's go cock block. Leave now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, my favourite thing to do. <laughs> Tis the season to be jolly and joyous. Follow that. <laughs> I love that that scene was with the characters with the silliest voices. Yeah. <laughs> it was the most emotionally <laughs> heart wrenching yeah. scene with the guy that sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fantastic. Great. Brilliant. Leave So, this person started kissing me, and I am letting them kiss me, but I am really confused. And it's a really nice kiss. Um, 
but I haven't been kissed in over a year and my heart is racing. I was ready to really hurt this person. I'm just confused. I kind of wait for like a, just a moment, just a breakaway moment and I look at them in the eyes and I say, hey, sorry, you startled me. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> um, how long has it been? You know, I was never very good with time. Right. Well, um, it's nice to see you. How did you know I was here? I can smell the flowers. Right. Oh, well, um, this wood's a really dangerous place to, to be. We should probably go back inside um, the enclosure where it's safe. I will always be safe where the trees grow. You know that, Leva. Yeah, you will. <laughs> um, but what about me? What if something were to happen to me? <laughs> What could possibly happen to the mighty hero, Eva Waxmand? I don't know. One scrape too many and that's it. What if you never heard from me again? Someone will always be ready to take the role you take. For now, I'm glad it's you. I want to roll to see if I know where this person's come from. I think I know where they've come from. I think the best bet for this roll is going to be Arcana. Mm -hmm. Plus three. 14 plus three, 17. This person has come from the trees. Where the trees have come from is another question. I thought so. Um, oh, sorry, I was in a bit of um. Honestly, it's been a wild day. <laughs> you know what they're like. Um, but uh, there's something really important I've got to do now. I'll come back after. Um, will you wait for me? I'll wait. I can't guarantee it'll be for you. But yes, you have important work to do. Just don't forget about me. I won't. Don't forget about Jasmine. I won't. She gives you one more rich and fruity kiss and then disappears into the trees. All right. Okay, so everything's been fine. No drama, no emotions. Just goof, goof, dildo, wall to wall. <laughs> yep. goof, goof, dildo. Magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. Goof, goof, dildo is ahead of character now. <laughs> it's, 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 it's is that what a, she was called? It's from the Adventure Zone. Um, it's from the Adventure Zone. That's the one that's kissing you. Goof, goof, dildo. That's so brilliant. <laughs> Let's see. We, we went from the lads to Lever. Uh, so, as you two have politely agreed to leave Yorina and Del alone for a moment. <laughs> okay, let me just find that voice again. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> 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 I was hoping you were going to do it. And you did it. You delivered. <laughs> yes. There's the accent. There's the accent. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six adventurers. <laughs> okay. This is the last we will see of each other for a little while. Okay. I wanted to thank you for doing what you've done to expedite everyone's return to the land of the living. No problem. I mean, everyone else did as much as I did. I offered you 
payment in return for helping me leave. Did you? My assets are oh. elsewhere, but if you make it out, and something tells me you will, look me up. Great. Well. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> it has been a pleasure and an honor, Del Marsh Walker. Likewise, Contessa. Mighty hunter of the woods. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that, but uh, <clears throat> thank you. I know a powerful predator when I see one. Not because you're one as well. Oh, I don't see much of myself these days. <laughs> it's fine. Well, that's your business. Uh, I'll uh, <laughs> see you in the land of the living. In the land of the living. <laughs> I didn't even have to get my blood sucked. Nice. If she's not a vampire, then what's she playing at? Yeah. Right. <laughs> she's just having a laugh. We'll rejoin the boys as they exit the sally port, find themselves the beginning of the border path. Liba! 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 It's like that Wally. Yeah. It's so Liba! Liba! <laughs> um, can I do a survival check or a nature check to see if I can see any tracks where Liba might have gone? Absolutely. Give me a survival. If you're tracking, give me a survival check. That's good. That's a, a minus one. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's a 19 though, minus one, which is 18. Nice. Yeah, immediately to your left where the cold iron barrier is, uh, there seems to be some jasmine blossom left over the metal. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Shit. What's up? Fuck. Maybe if you jump the fence. Oh, no. Have you, what, uh, why, do you, why do you think that? No. There's a jasmine on the other side. Oh, the tracks go into the woods. Oh, bloody. There's a ton of destroy from the path. There's freaking a huntsman out there. Jesus Christ. Oh, right. Oh, All right. Shall I, shall I push you over? Do you want to go? <laughs> 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 I don't want to go over there. I'll throw you. I can throw you. I don't want to go. No, 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 come on. Please don't We've got to go. <laughs> no, come on, come on. We've got to go, Rich. Come on. Um, Lever, you will have heard the voices um, <laughs> since uh, Jasmine yeah. returned to the trees. You will have heard these voices now coming. Um, um, you know which direction they're coming from. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of go... Um, I'll cry later. And I'm going to walk towards the fence and your voices. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm not, not going to shout back. I'm just going to walk towards the fence. We just see it coming through the woods and it's like, yeah. oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> oh. Hello, what's up? Oh, where did you go? What, what, what happened? I thought I heard something then. Just wanted to check it out. What was it? Oh. Nothing. Nothing? Um, no. Can I roll inside? <laughs> um, with social roles between players, I always like to give the player on the receiving end of the social role the opportunity to opt out if they don't want to be persuaded or deceived or incited. Mm. Um, but they can also opt in. Would you like to be inside check? You can insight check me. Uh, sure. Yeah. So I don't know why you think I'm lying. Let, let's do a <laughs> let's do a contested persuasion with insight. I want this deception with insight. Sorry. Yeah, deception. deception with insight. Um, that's a seven plus two for me, so a nine. That's a three plus three, <laughs> so a six. Yes! It's <laughs> <laughs> <Slumber. Why? laughs> It's not often you get a good read on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> but today, a today's a big day for you. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't see anybody. What do you... I, it feels like something did happen here, Lever. 
You can tell us. It's no, all right. can we just not talk about it? Can we? Um, maybe I'll talk to you about it later. We've well, got things to be doing. We're all sharing things. We had a lovely, we had a lovely chat earlier. Do you know the song? Because uh, let's start with the happen. Oh, oh, we just sing that, and then, yeah, you, no, can, no, then no, you can no, tell no, us no, a no, truth. Do no, your no, voice, do no, Tell no, the truth. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there isn't much truth to tell. Um, it wasn't bad, was it? No, no, um, not not nothing to worry about. Just weird is all, and I think I need to think it through before I um, talk to anyone about it. If okay. That's all right. Um, okay. I should have a one to talk. I mean, it's never good to talk to. Oh, we're very good listeners. Both Thank you very much. Do you, um... A weird question, uh, mm. since I've just lied to you. Um, do you trust me? Not going to lie, not as much as I did a few seconds <laughs> ago. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, other than that, you seem all right. Yeah? I trust you. Do you think I'm a good person? It's a sliding scale. It's a sliding scale, isn't it? You know, yeah. I think a lot of good people do bad things. Do bad things sometimes. Sometimes they don't overly help their friends. All right. Okay. <laughs> 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 you don't think I'm a bad person? I don't think you're a bad person. You stood up for me. You seem fine. I did stand up for you. That's you true. stood up for me. That's Right. Why, why do you ask? I don't know, I just feel a bit weird. Oh. Like I don't really um, know who I am. This place is weird. <laughs> oh, I can agree with that. Mm. Shall we um, sort out this uh, huntsman fellow and uh, go home? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to do that. Oh. We should um, go to the temple. Oh, yeah. See about the fang. I can remember things. That'd be nice. I don't feel like doing a lot of remembering right now. But let's see what he says about the um, fang. Alright. Tis the season to be jolly and joyous. Fala! Okay, so are the three of you returning back through the tunnel to the town? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we'll say that you return from your trip down to collect Lever at the same time that Dell makes her way out of Yurina's study to rejoin you in the hall. And let's say you all assemble back in the entrance hall of the keep again. Townmaster Fodder, uh, River, the Forger have both left. The hall is empty. The candle's still lit. Dusk is well and truly settled, and night is close. What are you all doing? Should we go down to the temple? Yeah. yeah. Before, before we do, is there anything like a mirror in here? Anything reflective? Not even a little bit. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> it's fine. Don't Maybe look into it like too much. Face, yeah. You know? Wow, you would think you wouldn't have to worry about that, having a castle that's artificially dark all the time. <laughs> oh, it's not artificially dark. There don't seem to be any windows. Cool. There's <laughs> <laughs> just no sign. So very cool. So are you all headed to the temple? Yes. He works at the keep. The door to the town master's chambers is closed. It is bolted. The courtyard is exactly as it always has been. Oh, except the pigs aren't there. Oh, that's pigs. Who let them out? Who? 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 You hear that owl? Is the <laughs> <laughs> is the is the gate open? The Gate from the upper ward to the lower ward. The gate that kept the, they were the pigs were heavily sealed away. 
the behind. Pigs, pigs like, are in a pen. They were in, yeah, but like a pretty secure pen, right? The secure pen was the one in the Hunter's Mark. Okay, so mm-hmm. they were just these, but just pigs in a regular it's pen. Pigs in a pen. Yeah. Just oh, regular, pen. regular pen. Well, no wonder they fucking got out then. You need to heavily secure <laughs> Yeah, you have to secure the pigs. <laughs> they are vicious creatures. <laughs> Uh, the gates to the lower ward that corkscrew is down to where the temple is is waiting for you. I'm away. Let's go. Let's go. And off you go down the corkscrew to the stone and packed earth building. Let's see it, Dom. Whee! <laughs> He's got skis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually in a toboggan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Made of human skin. Made of blood. You wind your way down to the temple. And as you step inside, you see Memoria August clicking his fingers. And as he does so, these little flaming fires, I guess all fires are flaming fires, flaming fires, snap off as he snaps his fingers in the sconces of the temple. Mm. Ah, you are back. You are alive. Wunderbar. Did you learn anything? Um, Did you manage to recover any... uh did you remember? Any memories of this old tooth? Ah, the tooth. Yeah. I always say, the tooth will out. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he must be, he's quite powerful. He's really good. Wow. Yeah. Well, it did come out, yes, because it's not in, in whatever it had it anymore. I don't, what's he mean? The tooth, well, it's, it's already out. It's a, it's a, it's a pan. Oh, I'm going back to the vampire. <laughs> 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 Yes, I have looked into the tooth. Now, what was it you were hoping I would remember from this? Um, I mean, I'm not sure it matters too much anymore, but um, I guess where it's from, uh, how it kills people is it just that it's very big or is it that it's got some poison or how do we kill what has a tooth like this one question at a time and i will do my best to answer okay um do you know where it's from yes this tooth if memory serves is from the mouth of a great and ancient serpent from a serpent? Is the serpent local? Does it come from round here? Because <laughs> we ate them foreign <laughs> serpents <laughs> round here. It's a dead old foreign serpent. <laughs> <laughs> this is a local shop for local <laughs> serpents. <laughs> uh, serpents like this? They were here before we were. Right. Whether they are here anymore, mm. hard to say. Okay. And um, if you were bitten by one of these, um, what would happen to you? He looks sad for a moment. Bitten by one of these, there is no coming back from that. Why not? What does it do? It is poison, Viva. Very old and very powerful poison. Is it still poisonous, this tooth? No. If it was, you and I would be dead. <laughs> but here we are, alive. We think. Um, thank you. Um, do you mind if I take it back? Is that all right? It is yours. Thank you. I put it in my pocket. Well, uh, sorry, I thought that was going to be something connected to uh, our huntsman. Oh yes, it's the huntsman. So there is one more connection I had forgotten, ironically, to tell you about. Hold on. And he walks to the back of the temple, rustles around amongst some sort of papers in a big chest at the back, and comes out with this etching of a tall, broad-chested figure with large curving horns Mm -hmm. cresting the top of his head. He holds some kind of weapon in one hand. The etching is so old it's hard to make out what kind of weapon it is. Mm -hmm. And 
girdled around his waist and chest a large, sharp-toothed serpent. There are many theories of who the hunter is or was. Some places where a horned figure is depicted, he is depicted with this, the great serpent, sometimes an adversary, sometimes a friend. But these are all legends. It is hard to know where the tooth is, eh? Mm. Well, is it is it an etching? It's not coloured. Etching. Mm. Now, you all seem, if you forgive my bloodness, a little beaten up. I'm bleeding uh, from my backside. I've got Del's got the big patch. <laughs> it seems you are in need of a rest, but. If there is anything else, I can help you remember. Richard, didn't you have some questions? Sorry. Yeah. Well, first of all, the serpent. The... What colour is the serpent? In what colour? Yeah. Poison serpents are normally green. Green. But then, so are basilisks. So it is hard to tell. Okay. Just when you said great. Great serpent. Made me think. Red. But, you know. Maybe that's just. That's just me. Do you remember the thing about what I asked you? About the cobalt worm. It's a cobalt worm. Now that is a very old serpent. What are you hoping to remember? At this stage, anything, anything at all that proves it's real. The legends of the worm are so old, they are maybe beyond even my memory. Eh? Mm. See one I remember? The only one I can piece together from the legends are those of the worms return. The worms return. They say when thunder rumbles in the sky, oh. lightning crackles from the clouds, the great blue worm, and then the rest is lost. The great blue worm comes back. That is what is assumed from the syntax of the sentence, but Good. the words are missing. All right, right. Um. No, thank you. Thank you. It should sort of just walks off to the side quietly. Are you are you alright, Richard? Yeah. Um I just got my hopes up. And um maybe I was hoping for more. We can keep searching for more once this is done. Yeah, yeah. This is one small town, Richard. Yeah. No, I, no, I understand. There's a whole world. Oh, but that's so much to search. We can do it. Yeah. It's probably an answer in a book. <laughs> it's usually a book. Excuse me, I wonder if you can remember something for me. This huntsman, do you remember, was he ever a hero? There are many legends about the hunter. For some, he is the leader of the wild hunt and has hunted his prey since the dawn of time. Mm. 
Others say he was a man gored by a stag. The devil saved his life on the condition he wore the stag's antlers forever. Others talk of a leader of fallen warriors. One thing, one thing, which is the same in all the legends, even the ones that speak of the hunter as a forgotten god, is when the hunter rides, a great disaster will follow. A plague, the death of a king, the end of the world. He's riding right now though, isn't he? I was hoping you were going to say something like, yeah, and if you give him his head back, he'll bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> but ghosts though. and that sort of thing, they often have unfinished business. They often want something that maybe... the and you would want your head. Oh, you you you'd need that. It's it's possible been talk about the devil to wear the horns for the whole time. Right. right. Well, oh. It's not technically wearing them if he's not even wearing his head. Mm. Sounds like if we give him his head back, he'll either go away or we he'll summon shall. an army of the undead and that'll yeah. be the end of the world. Sounds pretty rad. Well, but does that mean drop it's down. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's 50-50, yeah, because there's only two options. <laughs> and ultimately, either we all die, no one will know that we failed, or we'll be successful. So and everybody good. will say our name. Yeah. I'm afraid it is time for me to close the temple and rest the little grey cells. Well, thank you. Thank you, you so much, Maureen. One more thing to remember ha, about the past. We often think of the past as a fixed thing which influences our present. But remember this, our changing present shifts our past. I wish you all the best. Okay. Click his fingers and the last light snuffs out. Okay. <sighs> Let's oh, go find no. a place to rest. I think we're going to need it. Uh, the Temple of Forgotten Gods is fortunately just around the corner from the tavern you stayed at last time. Great. <coughs> cool. Head back there. Yeah. Let's yeah. have a little sleep. Little sleep. And sleep. we'll say that you will make your way to bed without incident, mm -hmm. have a good old rest, and wake up the following morning. Yeah. Now, as you've all had a good long rest, and you've had a bit of exciting combat, that does mean all of you have gained a level. Yay! So I'm just going to very quickly hand you your... I'm just going to very quickly hand you your level 3 character sheets. There you go. Do your best level up noise. Give me Thank you very much. Doesn't that inspire you to do better in your own lives? <laughs> 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 you can nice. be like Swapsies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm what everyone wants. Oh, look at all these now. <laughs> my life. Oh, shit, I've got level two now. Oh, crazy. Del. Thank you. One, Table four, four level one, two. You're very two. welcome. Oh, I get to be a swashbuckler now. Yes, um, some of you will have now reached your subclass. Yeah, right. So that's the case for Itchit is your sheet, Lucian. After finishing a long rest, which is eight hours of uninterrupted sleep or similar, you regain all of your lost hit points, any expended spell slots, and any features or abilities that recharge on a long or short rest. You're as powerful as you've ever been as you wake up this morning. The sun beams in through the windows, the rooms you sleep in, as do the sound of blood-curdling screams. Oh, good. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, I'm, like, immediately getting my gear and I'm trying to get to the door as quick as possible. Yeah, I'm following yeah. you. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to have a look out the window <laughs> first. <laughs> <laughs> there are people... Uh, so, you know those golden sun rays I told you about mere seconds ago? Yes. That isn't the amber glow of the sun. Uh, That's fire. Uh, the oh, tops yeah. of some buildings are ablaze. People flee and scream down the corkscrew of the town of Border. Um, there are panicked citizens running back and forth. Uh, but people mostly seem to be running down the hill. Where's the end? 
It's still back at uh, Well, they're, yeah, they're the running away from the courtyard, so we need to go upstairs. They need to go up. We need to get ahead. Oh, what's, what's, yeah. with, what's his face? Walter Glasses. Walter, Walter Glasses. Walter Glasses. Walter Glasses. Walter Glasses. Right. Okay, so when it should, it should, I think, was probably like fretting in his sleep a little bit because his mind was racing with some of the stuff that he'd thought about overnight. And I imagine it should got up a little bit early. Um, and one of the things he would have done uh, would be to take his Tinker's tools and to mend the Wormling further, which uh, again is to imbue it with the infused items, repeating shot. But I would also had thought about um, the fact that we'd been split up as a party multiple times throughout the day. Um, and the fact that we had loads of moments where we couldn't have all communicated, we all had to go find each other. Mm -hmm. um, and it should have come up with a means with which we could do that. So he's going to take these little uh, bits of metal and he's going to begin to tinker with them. And he essentially makes uh, rudimentary walkie talkies, uh, mm -hmm. sending stones. Mm -hmm. So Richard has made two, a set of sending stones, uh, which is his other infused items because he can magically reproduce items. Um, and then the final thing that it should wake up and doing, which is me gaining my uh, artillerist subclass, um, I can now create an eldritch cannon. <laughs> oh, Yay! Wow. More guns! <laughs> um, it should have probably been thinking like, oh, I got the round into fire and I shot skeleton yesterday. That was so cool. But why have the gun had legs? Oh. So he's going to make... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend some time and he's going to craft this little um, dragon mouthed cannon. Like uh, it just opens in this little maw and it's going to have these little stubby little wyvern legs on it. Um, and it will just follow me around. <laughs> and so I made a little eldritch cannon and I'm going to make specifically uh, the force ballista, which is one specific type of the three that I can make. That is a good night's tinkering from Itched mm -hmm. Breath. Uh, let's say, for the sake of narrative convenience, that the five of you assemble uh, around the same time uh, in the main hall of the tavern. The sounds of screams, the crackle of blazing roofs, the smell of blood in the air. There's a fire, I saw it from the window. Yeah, yeah I can smell it. Mm. We need to find that head right now. Well, everyone's running down the hill, we need to go up the hill, that's where the problem is. Yes. We've got to help. That's where the well, problem is. Where did you guys take the head yesterday? Uh, we brought it to... Uh, to uh, Walter Mayor Glasses. Walter Glasses. Walter Glasses. Yeah. 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 Mayor Watsis tits gave it to Walter Glasses. I was worried yeah. he was a man made of worms, but when I asked him about it, I didn't ask him specifically about that, but when I got chatting to him, he seemed to have a... He got a bit weird around Slambo, and then uh, turns uh, out they doesn't matter right There is a fire, and we need to get the head. Where did they take it? I'm just saying. He said to take it somewhere safe. So we need to find them. Okay. Um, were they up at the top? I mean, they were in the castle. At the top? They were at the at keep, the weren't they? Yeah. The, the upper ward. Yep. How Let's do you go. feel about running towards the fire? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, I'm worried that Walter Glasses was up to now good after all. I'm not well, a big fan out. of his, I'm not going to lie. Let's get him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I'm just, I'm going. Yeah, I'm following yeah, you. Great. It's yeah, just going to cool. hand uh, the other sending stone to Lever. Um, and be like, if you just if you wander off, we can talk. All right, thank you. What the hell's that thing following you around? Compensating for something. It's my little garden. Does it have a cool. name? Not that. Okay, I'll come up we'll with come one. Up so. with it on the <laughs> right, we run. The six of you run up the corkscrew in the direction of the upper ward. You pass screaming citizens. Um, you see some of these uh, soldiers <laughs> in Get out of the way! <laughs> Move! <laughs> Running into their way to push them out of the way. Yeah. You pass some of these soldiers uh, you saw before in uh, plate armour with this blue fabric um, trying their best to control the mania which seems to have spread throughout the town. Um, as you wind past them through the splintered gates leading to the upper ward you find yourself in the centre of the upper courtyard standing in the centre, at the top of a the stone podium, which marks the centre point, the absolute centre point of the town of Border. His voice raised to an evangelical pitch, oh. dressed in robes of dark red with white detail. The Reverend Clancy giving his sermon on the mount. 
surrounded by six other men in the same red and white robes, chanting something, standing in front of the cold iron box, sealed tight. Everybody, please roll initiative. <gasps> oh. oh no! Laurie, let's get your roll. Oh, it's 16 plus 2, 18. Delicious. Mm. Oh. Lovely. All right, let's see if we can get a good it initiative in this campaign. This Come let's on. see. I've had a two and I've had a four. That is an 18 plus one, 19. Very nice. Wow. Well, we needed that. We, we need did. this. We did. There's a lot of guys. I wonder what I'll get. <laughs> It's a 16, minus one is a 15. It's hey. very nice. Hey. It's very nice. Minus one on your initiative, pal. I hes right. hesitate. <laughs> 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 Too rich for my blood. Oh. Tobian. That's a six plus seven, so that's 13. Plus seven. Yeah. Plus seven. I'm very quick, but apparently didn't catch on to everything that was happening. Slam time. That's a 12 plus two, that's 14. Cats rush in where Brummies fear to tread. Fourteen the <laughs> Slambo. Eight plus three, eleven. Eleven for Dell. Okay, Lever, mm -hmm. you're up. Okay, that's the box I was carrying yesterday. That's I know the box that's you're the carrying box. yesterday. Okay, um, how far away am I? I am. <sighs> yeah, roughly how far away am I? Which one? You're up. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, yeah, I'm close enough. I'd like to cast Moonbeam, please, on the guy in the middle. On the guy in the middle? Go mm -hmm. for it. Um, tell us, talk us through Moonbeam quickly. Um, so Moonbeam, it requires concentration. Um, they need to succeed on a constitution saving throw of 14. Um, I can cast it 120 feet away from me, and it makes a five-foot cylinder. And basically, that will stay there for up to a minute, provided I can keep my concentration. Um, and anybody within it, including right now when it's cast, will, if they succeed on their, if they fail their constitution, constitution saving throw, they will take 2d10 of damage. Um, if they are successful, they take half of that. Uh, let me find a magical effect marker again. Um, he'll also have to do wisdom uh, saving throws on the end of each of his turns. Okay, so first, first thing that happens then. I... I'm so confused right now. The only thing I do know is that the moon is maybe the only person I've ever been able to trust. And I reach out my hands and white ripples for a much longer amount of time now across my hands all the way out. And I just light pours from my hands and lands in this pool where he is in this huge pillar of moonlight. What does he need to do? He needs to make a constitution saving throw of 14 to succeed. Okay. Yeah. He rolls a um, he rolls an eighteen. Okay, he fails, but he still takes. He passes. Yeah, he succeeds. But he succeeds the throw, but he still takes half of that damage. So he'll still take one d10 of damage. Um, hit me with one d10. Oh, you still roll two. D10 yeah, roll two d10. And we half what you rolled. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's not that one. Where are you? Those odds. Where are you? That's not you. This boy. This is him. Okay. Um, three. <laughs> Nine. So twelve. So six. Six. Still good. Uh, yeah. The searing light of the moon blasts down from a gap in the tree line and the reverend hisses and then growls at you as the light bubbles the flesh on his face. Uh, and he's currently moonbeamed, is that right? Yes, and I am now concentrating. Um, and I'll check. I think this will hit him at the beginning of each of his turns, so I need to check that. I'll do that. I'll check that now. Cool. Um, any movement you want to do? Um, yeah, sure. I'll move to about here. Uh, can definitely how do far it. can you do? Oh, actually, I can only do 40. 5, 5 10, 10, 15, 15 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 25, 30, 30 that's 35, perfect. 40, yeah? Yeah. Wonderful. That's me. I'm going to go. <laughs> 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 yeah? <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> okay. I've gone completely <laughs> mad. <laughs> so, next up is. Just guy, the little guy with the red dot. Yes. So you notice one of the figures in red robes, the one looking you straight in the eye, slight of frame, half moon glasses, a wicked <gasps> smile on his face. No! Who can play that game? And... Shit, I told you so. Fuck. Walter Glasses? Oh, I didn't like the look of him oh, from the off. Prick. Oh. Um, he is going to, in fact, give me a dexterity saving throw. You got it. Try and knock his glasses off, then he won't be able to see. Seven in total, six plus one. 
ape. <laughs> a column not of moonlight but of boiling blood shoots down from the sky above you. Ooh. You take two points of damage. <laughs> I like to do this. Boiling blood. Like I like it. <laughs> I've, I'm into it. I've Good lost my skin. mind. Not even bad. <laughs> um, he then turns around to the reverend and holds his hands out towards him. I double him up. <laughs> <laughs> and a kind of shimmering crimson haze forms around where the Reverend currently is. What if he's sucking your life out and giving it to him? That's a good idea. Um, cool. So, again, give me another dexterity saving throw. Yeah. Blood rain. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Four plus one, five. Uh, you take four points of damage mm-hmm. from another column of boiling blood, shoots out of the sky for a second and stops. And again, give me another roll. Oh my god. It's like Lever's doing like blood flash dance. Two plus one <laughs> is three. <laughs> You take uh, another one from another jet of blood. Hey guys, you know when we I didn't do any of the fighting before? This is like <laughs> watching the end of Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um give me a give me give me another one. Oh my god. Oh at some point, Holly, you Five are gonna have to one, roll six. better. Oh, uh, that's no. another three. Oh god! Oh dear. Holy shit. Yeah. Another one? Um, let's see. Five. <laughs> yes, just. Just another one. Ten, eleven. Eleven. Uh, that is not enough. This is one of those fights where you're like, when did I last save this game? That is yeah. eight. <laughs> eight points of damage? Yeah. Eight points. Oh god, I might die. Oh god. I'm on, a, I'm on three. Jesus. Turn into, I have turned turn into your tiger. An um, yeah, have I will to. have to on my turn. Um, didn't do it. Oh no. I mean, to be fair, who would have foreseen this? I <laughs> have yeah. taken 18 points of damage. Have you lost concentration? You took because every of single that. Person. Yes, I will have lost concentration. Well, you roll, you roll for each damage you've taken, basically, and if you roll 10 or higher, you keep concentration. Okay. So you might as well roll. You have to roll I think six I've rolled, times, though. Is it four times? How many times have I taken damage? Oh, four times, yeah. How many have I taken? Uh, before, yeah. Okay. So just d- d- DC 10 is all you need to do. Concentration. Right, you've lost Seven, it. I've already lost <laughs> it. Cool. <laughs> Concentration's uh, gone. He's no longer moonbeamed. He's no longer moonbeamed. Do what they do in Sword of the Stone. Turn into a virus and make him sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the last one turns to the Reverend, whose skin is still blistering from the heat of the moonbeam. As the moonbeam stops... Let's see where did I put that? Oh, yeah. He holds his hands out, and as his fingers move, the blisters on the Reverend's face begin to smooth out until he is looking hearty and hale again. Next up, we have the Reverend. Oh no. Jesus. Oh, what gosh. the fuck did they roll on their initiative? Yeah, right? <laughs> All in that 20s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you rolled um, like a 19. I was on a 19, right? yeah. And so, I rolled like a. Yeah. Uh, so groups of the same kind of monster share the same initiative. So that's right. all. That's all they six acolytes together. Yeah. Mm. He looks to you oh, fuck. and smiles a horrible smile. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Plus six. That's oh, nineteen God. plus six, twenty-five. He smiles at you and casts command. In the spell command, you speak a one-word command to a creature you can see. Uh, if the target fails, they have to obey the command, um, as long as it isn't detrimental to their survival, like jump off a cliff or kill yourself. He looks at you, he smiles, and he says, Transform! You feel something move beneath your skin, but on that successful throw, you keep a hold of oh, it. Oh, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to tear him to pieces, this I'm going to kill him. Okay, next up is... Um, oh, what else? And then he turns his attention back to the crate um, and begins muttering something under his breath. Mm. Uh, Itchard, you are Hello. up. Uh, yeah, so your man in the middle with the crate. Yeah. Is he holding the crate or is it just on the floor? He's just, he's just standing by the crate. Yeah. 
there seems to be something glowing from it, but he's making hand movements. He's not sure. currently holding it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, and then I'm going to use Firebolt, which is 120 feet range. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to shoot a Firebolt uh, at uh, Walter Glasses. Lovely. Uh, so a little dra- I take a little ball out of the thing and go, and the dragon just shoots out. Uh, that is a 16 plus 5, 21 on a hit. That hits. Uh, and he takes 1d10 fire damage. Uh, so seven damage to him. Nice. Oof, that's nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to use my force ballista. Uh, as a bonus action, I can activate my Eldritch Cannon, um, which would have been in the space beside me. Uh, and I can move it 15 feet, and then I can activate it. So can, have we got something that I can use? Yeah, to just sure. Let me give it? you a. Let's just give you this little green guy. Little green guy. This is my force ballista. Look at it. Um, mm. He's just going to go five, ten, fifteen. And then he's going to fire at this guy as well. He's got a range of 120 feet, so I think mm-hmm. that's fine. fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 30. One, two, three. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. So he's going to make a range attack, uh, which is plus five to hit as well, because it's the same as my spell attack. Uh, that's only five plus five, so 10. 10. Um, that's 10 damage? No, 10 to hit. 10 to hit. Uh, let's see. For him, just. <gasps> just. Oh, good old wizards. <laughs> 2d8 damage. Uh, so he takes so seven and a seven, 14 Ooh. points Ooh, of damage, nice. and he's pushed five feet backwards. Describe to me um, what this looks like coming out of the cannon, the first shot from your yeah. force ballista, and where you're aiming for. So this little chicken legged uh, mm. green cannon like scurries around the corner and just like crouches down and goes, <laughs> and this like blast of uh, like almost like a a hard sphere of air is just ejected from it and it just hits him in like you know those like wind cannon things mm, that you can get yeah. it just hits him full force in the chest uh shoving him nice um for how many damage again uh that was 14. Oof. the force hits him in the chest like a cannonball he is knocked back five feet the impact from the force collapses this small man's fragile chest <gasps> and he falls to the ground oh. Well done. Fuck you, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> does this go he's away dead. then? He's dead. Good. Does the um? Does this go away then? Oh yeah, because he was. Oh, he he absolutely was does. Nice. Very well remembered. That'll be my turn. The only other thing I would tell is, we're not to get the chest away from him. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next up, Lucian. Oh wow. More initiative than I thought. Uh, I'm going to move and hide behind this crate here. <laughs> <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Brave, whatever. brave, and brave <laughs> solution. <laughs> I'm just preparing. I'm taking precautions. You've got to take precautions before you get yourself in a mess. Well, why should I regret it? Um, and then I'm going to cast False Life, but in a second level slot. So it's slightly stronger. Um, and if anyone was watching, they'd see my complexion suddenly go much greyer as my blood pulses with this unnatural, non-life blood, uh, a necromantic facsimile of life. And it gains me 1d4, um, normally it's 1d4 plus four temporary hit points for an hour, but uh, at second level, it would be um, 1d4 plus five. So it'll give me an hour's worth of extra hit points. It might be useful. Mm. One. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> At second level. Oh no. At second level you get one D four. Uh, yeah, it just it says it says it's one D four plus four, but when cast uh, using a spell slot of second level or higher, you gain five additional temporary hit points for each slot level above first. So, so that's I presume that means one D four plus five rather than one D four plus four plus five. Yeah. yeah, so it'd be yeah. six. That's, that's okay. all right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not great, but uh, it's like twenty twenty three. Right? What do these temporary hit points look like when they form on you? I think it's it's just uh, it's just like calluses. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably, it probably makes my flesh look a bit necrotized. Lovely. Um, my skin's grayer as this. This sort of dead blood is just pumping through. Oh, you just get sores sores instead. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <sighs> Careful, Lucian. It's starting to look like him. Oh no. <laughs> Anything else you're doing on your turn? Uh, 
crouching down behind that crate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you um, half cover for that crate. Great. Uh, Slambo. Right, so I, uh, this seems you know fairly obvious at this point, but um, I presume our robes match. Oh yeah, they are exactly the same. Yeah, I thought so. These are a little cleaner oh, than yours. Yeah. All right. But yeah. Um, all right, well, uh, I'm going to, first of all, quickly shout, Reverend, you lied to me, and I'll go into a barbarian wage, but not just a barbarian wage. I'm going into a frenzy. Keep in mind, yeah. you will exit that rage if you don't attack. Are you close enough to do any attacks? Oh, you can no, throw I'm a not. spear, haven't you? You've got, We've a, got javelin. a javelin. Oh, could you throw a, a javelin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, okay. So cool. I'm going yeah. to, um, I'm going to uh, move as closely as I can, um, which should only be 30 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then I'm going to sh uh, throw this uh, javelin uh, uh, at the uh, at the at the Weverwind. What's your range on that javelin? Um, uh, that is, uh, it says sl thirty slash one hundred and twenty. So I imagine one hundred and twenty. Okay, so it's going to be disadvantage in the longer range. Mm -hmm. um, but throw that javelin. Okay. So Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. 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 Seven damage. Ooh, nice. Uh, the sheer force with which you throw this spear, um, it, it moves almost like a bullet that quickly through the air. Great is across his side, like someone badly aiming at Christ. He hisses at you, and then that hiss turns into a smile. And as the blood starts to leak from the wound you've created, he seems to get a little bigger. Um, he looks you right in the eye. There you are, boy. And begins to fervently return to working on this chest. Tobian. Okay, so is it a really dumb idea for me to run in there and try to grab the box and get out a little bit, or should I keep distance? I might have a way to get the box. Okay, I won't do the stupid thing then. Yeah, I, I will, think it might I will, be like, I, I think we need, to, we need to try and take out yeah. some of these guards. We need to clear a path to Fine. the box first, I think, and then we might have a way to get it. Yeah, because like, I, like, I can in. get there. Well, can you get out with it the same turn? Yeah, but like not far. I mean, I'm you're so I think fast. you're just going to take every single hit from all yeah, these no, guys, right? Yeah, no, this is right? what I'm worried about, mm -hmm. yeah. Because um, is the box on the side of him, or is it technically just like the box with is, him? The box is technically right in the center of that podium, right next to him. Mm. Is he? Is his body blocking it from us? Um, is he like behind it, looking at us, or is he stood in facing away from us? Uh, that is a good question. I think at this point, yeah, with you coming from this direction, he'll have his body in between you and the box. Okay. So he's now facing away from us, essentially. Fine. To, to I can't protect way. you. But not right now. Okay, I'll just move closer this time then. Um, and use my shortbow. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, feline agility to go ahead and move a bit more for free. So, let's say I'm... Get behind, behind that cart. Well, I'll go. Maybe. Oh yeah, behind the cart. Is the cart? How tall is the cart? I'll give you half cup for the cart. Yeah. Cool. So Look I'll just brilliant map. I'll just be like right up on that. It's amazing. What a bloody um, brilliant map from the reclusive cartographer. So from behind the cart, I peer up with my, I guess, short bow. Not, <laughs> not a crossbow. Short bow, um, and shoot at. Let's go for a little blue guy here. Cool, you're going to go for bluey. Um, so that is just plus six. Come on. That is three plus six. That's a nine. That misses. Yeah. Just. I just. Like 10 AC, just, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's a shame. OK, uh, that's, I think, I mean, I could do more, but I will stop there. That's all I'll do. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, next up we have Do do do. Del. OK. Uh, I'm going to cast Long Strider on myself. Uh, Long Strider is a first level uh, spell that lasts for an hour. It increases my speed by 10 feet till the spell ends. Concentration? No. Lovely. Thankfully. No. So let's just give you a magical effect thing so we know you've got Long Strider. I'm all the way over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, Please there you are. Kind. Uh, and I'm going to. Try and is this uh, elevated? This thing here. 
Um, that's a roof, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and get up on that roof. Please. Give me an athletics check or an acrobatics. Can I do that? Because that was an action that I just did, so can I do that in the same turn? Um, it would be a different turn to climb, I'm afraid. Okay, all right. Well, I'll just try and get near it, basically. And do you want to move along? Do you want to move along yeah, this yeah. way? Yeah, yeah. All your full movement? Yeah. Yeah. 40 feet, please. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 there? Yep. You happy with that? Cool. Yeah. The Reverend calls out, I flock. My loyal flock, protect me. And uh, you hear some yells coming from some of the buildings here in the upper ward. No. How are we going to yeah. do this? We've just got to get the box. We've just got to yeah. get the box. Let's see. Oh, hi. Let's see. Uh, we'll have one come out from here. Come out from here. Oh. Here. Oh, uh, oh. From here. Oh dear. And then one from over here. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Okay. That's and little dudes. <laughs> <laughs> what do these guys look like? Are they? Um, they look like heroes. They seem like the kind of people you've seen coming into the town and border. You've seen people like this in the tavern. You've seen people like this walking the street. They're all armed, um, holding weapons, wearing armor of some kind. But yeah, these are Slambo. In fact, you recognize some of these from the meeting you had. And one of them, let's see, which one is it? This one, sees and yells, Slambo, Slambo, oh boy, it's me, Dambo. Slambo <sighs> and Dambo, best friends for life. <laughs> uh, Slambo. These fucking guys. Oh no. Oh, what have you done, Slambo? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? Involved fact, with Slambo. Uh, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 oh, 40, well, they get to go right 45, oh, no, I'm gonna die. 50, 55, 60. But it's taken this whole action to get up to. In fact, it's going to yeah, get up to here. And then who, who next? The yes. grubs. Pardon me as I just try to clock who each of these guys are. Five. Holy shit. Let's come over here to get closer to the Reverend. Uh, come over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but they have spent all of their action moving close to you, and we're back at the top of the order with Lever. All on, right, Lever. I'm going to have to get rid of my second spell slot, which means no um, whole person, but I think it's what I have to do. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at uh, second level, uh, which is an action. Uh, it's touch range, so I'm going to literally kind of like place my hand on my heart and I am going to um, try and heal myself. So I get 1d8 plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is four without my proficiency, it's so a four. And then if I cast this spell using a, sp a slot of second level or higher, the healing increases by 1d8 one d eight for each slot above the first level. So I'm going to roll 2d8 mm -hmm. plus four nice. to heal. Because uh, I think I really need it. You do need it. You've got um, three HP, I think. Because yeah. yeah. even, yeah. <laughs> even if I turn into a tiger, I'm still going to come out of it at some mm. point yeah. and have nothing left. Uh -huh. uh, one, five, six, plus four, ten. I take ten. Nice. Healing, which is better than nothing. Yeah, no, you, um, need, you way better. needed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it means I have no second level slots left. Um, and then I'm going to use my bonus action what? and... Oh, are you adding that to the number that you already had? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I had three mm -hmm. and I rolled... So you should be on 13. I should be on 13. Thank yeah, you, you should, yeah. You're right. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this fucking evil bastard. And I'm going to be like, oh, you want me to transform? You don't know what you're fucking asking me to do and I'm going to just let the white ripple all across my body and I'm going to land on all fours and I'm going to turn... Oh, there we go, there I am. 
There she's gone. Where are you, Lever? You're a tiger now. <laughs> and um You're Tony the tiger. <laughs> so <laughs> sexy. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm going to <coughs> That's bonus action, actions. action and then movement. I'm gonna go and help um Tobian. I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Nice. And that's my turn. So. I knew you were a beast. He hisses at you. I'm gonna kill this guy. Mm. Mm. He's being very he's rude. Really rude. Okay. We put out a lot of things, but in politeness. <laughs> <laughs> Burning blood, what? totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Necromancer, murder. Mm-hmm. <laughs> murder. <Yeah>. So <laughs> this guy waves his hands. It's another <laughs> shimmering um, bit of haze of red around the reverend uh, and then can you reach from here uh you tobian are the closest give me a dexterity saving throw you can do it are you good at dex you can do it i am okay here we go come on seven plus six so 13. um that succeeds <sighs> oh. um, I didn't think it would. Mm. <laughs> As, yeah, and no, no half damage. That just succeeds. Hey! Um, yeah, they try to. Uh, another sort of column of boiling blood shoots down from the sky, but you move out of the way. <laughs> you'd never get that out of your fur that. either, would you? Like, don't, you'd, you'd, that'd be there forever. Give me another one. Yep. Dex. Dex. Uh, same thing, seven plus six. Cool. Um, that passes. Give me a uh, another one. These, this sort of ring of priests now seems, or ring of acolytes seems to be focusing their energy on you. Uh, 15 plus 6. Anyway. Oh. That passes. Give me another one. Uh, 9 plus 6. Hooray. We're good. And one more. Oh, okay. 8 plus 6. Hooray. Also good. 8 plus 6. That passes. <gasps> yes. Um, you are just. With cat like agility weaving in between these blasts of boiling blood. What is happening? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> uh, you like playing with weapons, do you? Uh, and he's going to use his bonus action to cast Spiritual Weapon. Ooh. Oh. Uh, a snarling pair of blunt and dripping jaws materializes. Yeah, around you, right next to the space you are in, Mm-mm. and takes a snap at you. Um, a dice, not a dice, not a dice. Not a dice. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's going to try and gnash down on you, um, but that is going to be a miss with a five. Um, plus, from oh no, you don't have cover anymore, do you? No. Um, and that's his bonus action for his main action. He is going to you, Tobian. You are the closest. Okay. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, not my strongest <coughs> suit, but that's all right. Because uh, I rolled Ooh. a 19, nice. Nice. so that's 20. It's another spell oh, yeah. slot burnt through. Um, for a moment, your body starts to seize up. You can't move as some force tries to take control over your body. But as we've said before, your body belongs to someone else at the moment, and you manage to push free. Ah. <laughs> uh, Itchit, you are up. Okay. Um, who cast a spell on the guy in the middle? Uh, that was the green guy. The green, the green guy, dot. This guy. Okay. I'm going to use my bonus action and yip yip, and my little uh, <laughs> okay. my cannon's going to go <laughs> five, <laughs> ten, fifteen. Uh, I've decided to name this little cannon Thing Fang Boom, uh, mm-hmm. and it's going to absolutely love it. Dragon cannon is going to fire at this guy, um, which is a spell attack plus five. Uh, I've rolled. That's not good. It's a three plus five is eight. Um, so that is this. not going to hit. God mm. fucking damn it! Um, <laughs> <laughs> does spiritual weapon uh, attack on reaction? Attacks on bonus action. So I'm going to go. Uh, I mean, I like this range. Mm-hmm. I love this range. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stay at this range, but they can't cast their spells on me. Um, I'm just going to go 5, 10, 15 behind, and I'm then going to cast Firebolt on the same guy. Nice. So another little Dragon Ball. 
and that is even worse. That's a oh two no. plus five. Oh. 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 Bam, big turn for Itchit. Oh, it big did. turn for Itchit. Itchit's right. big turn. Okay, are you done? Oh. Well, I killed water glasses and now I'm regretting all my choices. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian. Uh, right. Um, no, none of these guys are injured now, are they? No. no. Never mind. Uh, I look across the square to where um, Dell is currently having this sword swung at them. And I'm going to cast uh, Ray of Sickness because uh, he's just in range. Um, so uh, this spore-like cloud of green oh, gunk fires at high velocity across the square. <laughs> um, and hopefully we'll hit. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I've completely forgotten my. Come on, get down. 17 plus 4. And it's lovely stuff. It does 2d8 damage, I think. 2d8. Um, and they have to make a constitution saving throw or be poisoned until the end of my next turn. Mm. Uh, that's 14 damage. Oh, that felt good. Oh, nice. I suddenly hear Melnikor's voice in my head. What he'd scream all the time. Die! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, Shut up! <laughs> it's a simple Die. instruction. Cultists are good at following orders. And with a word and a gesture, he dies. Oh, oh my, god. my god. Good riddance. I suddenly have a glimpse of the power that Melnikor felt. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then I hide back behind the car. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> Cough yourself, to right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did that. <laughs> Coughs and sneezes spread disease. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there we go. Nice. And I think that'll be the end of my. Was that magic? Or do I want to? I might get a bit closer so that I can really do some. Some damage. I'm feeling emboldened. So Whoa. let's go. Uh, I don't want to go near that. So I'm going to go. Uh, what is it? 30, 5, 10. Uh, uh, yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's where I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? Okay. Absolutely. Great. What a successful turn for me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for you. yeah. <laughs> um. Dead. The Reverend <laughs> turns to you one more time. Well, never send a man to do a beast's work. He whistles and yells, blood sausage. And <laughs> my favorite, <laughs> <laughs> bursting so out of the back, back of the pig pens, oh. a huge giant boar emerges. Hello, oh. friends. 15, 20, 25, 30, Hi. 35, 40, 45, oh. and squares off against the tiger. Mm -hmm. oh, hello. See how? Um, it, has, it, has used, it has used its action to dash. Okay. Um, in oh. fact, what it's going to do is... We've got to get that fucking chest. Back up a little bit. It's probably nothing. <laughs> it's probably not going to charge attack Terry's next face. time. <laughs> Slambo. So as I've gone into this frenzy, my voice has changed. It's not the usual mm. jolly voice that you sort of got to know. There's a different accent even. It's. He turns around to the Reverend and he says, I'm not your boy, Reverend, and I'm not your friend, Dumble. And he fucking slams him with his axe. Fuck and he's yeah! Do a reckless attack. Fuck yeah! Secretly Irish. Secretly Irish the whole time. Oh, no. All right, it's a reckless attack means I get advantage, so it's yes. okay. Here we go. 17 yes. plus five. And uh, <laughs> it's a, that's, that's great. Uh, yes. so I get to uh, do 1d12 plus five damage on Dambo. And that is going to be 10 plus 5, 15 damage on Danbo. Very Goodbye, nice. Danbo. Goodbye, Danbo Wilkins. <laughs> um, Goodbye, Danbo. As your axe sinks, where, what part of the body are you aiming for? Uh, I'm going to go for his face. Um, <laughs> your axe just cleaves straight into his face. Oh. And for a briefest moment, as the last bit of consciousness remains before his brain gives out, like a, an unenthralled eye looks at you and says, Dambo and Slambo, best friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh and he is gone. 
Oh Goodbye, Dambo. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, that is a brutal attack. Got time to loot? Like <laughs> you got movement still. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Um, right, I'm going to move uh, 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 in a straight line 30 feet uh, towards the priest. Mm. Terrific. Uh, Tobian, you're up. OK. Um, for now, I'm just going to attack this guy because I have it um, a sneak attack. Yep. On him because of Leva. So Leva. I'm going to attack with my rapier. And that is a uh, 20, not natural. Four, I rolled a 14. That'll hit. Plus six. Uh, so it's a d8. Eight. Yes. Oh, um, come on. And then another uh, d6 because I had the sneak attack. Three. Eleven. That's 15 damage. Oh, Delicious. Love to see it. Here we go. Coming yes. back. This is it. For the rapier. Yeah. Straight, right up. Straight yeah. the chin out the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, this guy, yeah. right? Yes. And he collapses and is gone. Yes. Really okay. Um, I might now use cunning action mm. to disengage mm -hmm. this guy in front of me. Leva, are you okay if I leave yeah, you? Yeah, totally fine. Okay, so I'm going to do that to disengage and move five, ten. Oh, I really want to get up in there. Fifteen. Ooh, it's probably dangerous. I was fine though. I'll get there and give you a look of like, hey, remember when you said you could protect me? Check the book. You can't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Ah. Um, <laughs> how much time I move? Twenty. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I'm going. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm well, going to leave it at that. I think I'll be fine though. Next time I get to go, I think yes. I'm close enough that I can still get in and out. And like, they're not close enough. They're not so. fiends or undead, are they? They're just no, humans. they're just humans. The oh, worst yes. kind of monster. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm looking a bit closer, they look alive to me. I can't think I can help them. It's okay, <laughs> it's all right, I can do it, it's all right. <laughs> cool, that's me. Del. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Uh, could you move me? Are you going straight line? Yeah, I think so. Uh, about, let's do so 20 feet for 15, now. 15, 20? Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna fire an arrow. Try and pick this guy off. Mm -hmm. Green guy. Yeah. Go Let's for it. Let's go for it. Come on. That's a five plus seven. Twelve. So. Just. Oh. oh. Beautiful. And I'm rolling my 1d8. Will I ever remember which one it is? The diamond shape. This one. This one. They're all shaped like <laughs> diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> three plus three. That is a six. That's a six, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, oh, can I, before I do it, can yes. I wreck on that yeah. and just, can I cast, uh, I can use actually Slayer's Prey, which is a bonus action where I designate one creature within 60 feet. Mm -hmm. And the first time each turn that I hit the target with a weapon attack, it takes an extra 1d6. Okay, roll that d6. Okay. Roll that d6. Three. Where in the body are you aiming for? Straight through the heart, I think. Mm. Straight through the heart, well, shot through the heart, and, and you are to blame. And to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Whoa, and with him, oh, nice. Nice. Guy the protection that. around oh, the nice reverend. Oh. Right now. Nice. Beautiful. Here we go. Okay, anything else on your turn, Del? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's being all done. Okay. Who is up next? This guy. Uh-oh. This guy can go too. Um, he's going to take oh, a swing Walter. at you. Goodbye, uh, Walter. Walter glasses. Goodbye. Um, uh, the Reverend says, protect me, my flock. Protect each other. And a new kind of fervor appears in the eyes of this guy. He rolls a six, but he is now rolling with vantage. Rolls a three, misses both times. Nice. <laughs> um, Can't fervors. touch Toby in. No, it? I'm yeah. way too quick. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, too nimble. Two big swings of the axe, both miss. Next up we have... Hammer. Mm. 
Three. Hammer reckons he can take down the big man. Wow. And Bonkers. also rolling with advantage. That is a, see if he crits. That's a natural one, uh, but the other one is a 19 plus uh, three. Plus four, sorry, so that'll hit. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that'll hit. You've got a 23 armor class, do you? No, no, no. Oh, that's Come weird. On. Um, not, yeah. Give him the two he, he, roll, he rolls a two damage, half to one, because you're raging. Oh, nice. <laughs> this, yeah. this huge axe comes down on you, and the, the thickness of your muscles just shrug it off. Mm. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, he's gone. I'm busy. <laughs> uh, Lever, you are up. Okay, um, I might need to check how pounce works. For I haven't got my phone on me. Um, just how tigers pounce. Cool. It says mm -hmm. what I've written down is at least twenty feet. That's li literally it. Move at least twenty feet towards a creature. If you hit it with a claw attack, it needs to make a strength save throw DC thirteen. It'll be not prone. If it is not prone, you can make one bite attack as a bonus action. Okay. How crazy would it be if I attack this? I want to take I'll down this. This, oh, beast this beast. Yeah. beast. Yeah. Absolutely. I am. I think that's so, so annoyed about being called a beast. I have worked so hard to be everything but, and I am going to go for this thing. So I'm going to pounce. Uh, <laughs> 5, so 10, 15, 20, here they are. And I get to do a claw attack. So plus 5 to hit, and then I get to do a free bite attack as a result. This is a bonus. Oh, oh shit. Um, if, yeah, if, yeah if, it, if it gets knocked prone by this, then yeah, I've written the target, target must succeed a D. DC 13 strength saving throw, yeah. So roll your attack. OK. Oh, yeah. Plus five. Seven plus five, uh, twelve. Hits. It's a big pig. It's a big pig. Its hide is tough, but it's big. It's it hits. A big pig. Yep, yep. It hits. So oh, it's yeah. knocked prone. You can it needs to make a strength too. saving throw oh, yeah, for yeah, being knocked true. prone. So it's. Uh, it rolls a 17. 18. 18, so okay. it succeeds. Um, but it does take damage, right? It does take damage from claw, like a claw yeah. attack? So we do the claw attack. If you hit with the attack, yeah. So, so you still do the regular one D4 attack. 1d4 plus 3. 1d4. 1d4? Is this triangle? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, 2 plus 3, 5. 5. And I'm, with my claws, I am like swiping at its throat. Um, There's a lot of muscle to get through. Your attack hits, but this is a big, heavy boy, and it's going to take some time. That's fine. Anything that's else in your turn? Um, no, I'm fine. OK, dead. Oh, dead. How much damage did you use to the pig? Oh, not very much. It was That's like well. it was like. Okay. Like Tobian, give me a dex save. Come on, Tobian. In fact, first off, um, it's going to cast another protective mm -hmm. barrier over. The this one just did. Yeah, this one. All right, dexterity save through. Come on. That is uh, eleven plus six, seventeen. Seventeen, you make it. Yep. Um, yeah, again, move it out of the way, fine. Right. Okay, next up. Um, uh, yeah, same one, another deck yep. saving throw. Come on, Tobian. Tobian's smashing it. Fifteen plus six, <gasps> twenty-one. Yes! yes. Tobian. And again. <laughs> <laughs> the range again. Can't touch me! And again. In fact, it's gonna move to here. Yeah, and again. Oh no! Oh no, a critical. It's in that one. <laughs> That just means it fails. Um, there's nothing particularly bad okay. beyond a failure for this, so don't worry too much. Fine. Um, okay. I was okay. very distracted by the other couple. Just like fucking stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Two damage. Oh, that's fine. Nothing. <laughs> and then once more, please. Okay. Uh, fourteen plus six. So back to twenty. Cool. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the Reverend now acts. He is going to mutter something to himself. And. No, he doesn't need that actually. What is he going to do instead? He is going to first, he's going to use a spiritual weapon. Um, Plus off! Oh no! <laughs> fuck <Richard>. off! <laughs> nope. Richard likes his toys. Richard learned Thanks, the Terry. words fucking shit really <laughs> recently and he's really going for it. Have you noticed this? Um, that is I'm a... That's 12 plus that's what I want. <laughs> that's an 11. Uh, that misses. The jewels miss My you armor again. Class is 14. Yeah! Um, what he's going to do instead, he has one of these left. Um, Slambo. I'm going to need from you, please, a wisdom saving throw. Oh, you need fuck. to beat an 11. 
It's an eight. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. If you're not gonna fetch any blood, boy, then stay out of my way. Your mighty body begins to slow. And despite the power of your muscles, you suddenly find yourself paralyzed. <gasps> oh, oh, what do we do about that? Is, whole per do is it a whole person? Or like command? Fuck. Can okay. we command to stop? Is it a concentration? If it's paralyzed, then... At the end of each of your turns, you can make another wisdom save and throw. It is okay, a concentration spell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just need to find a paralyzed dude. We can stop if that. I we can stop him. that. Yeah, if you hit that, we can stop it. Because he has to, you can break. It was the Reverend, though, wasn't it's it? It's the Reverend. We can break his concentration, but he's protected by a barrier. Is so. So you are yeah. paralyzed, and he is currently concentrating. Who's the guy concentrating mm. on the Reverend currently? The uh, yellow. Yellow is. Yeah, let's put a thingy on yellow. Okay. These guys. Um, and rings. that is, and then he goes back to the box. He moves his hands across it, and the metal around it starts to part, and flaming light and the haze of heat begins to emerge from inside it. Uh -oh. We gotta stop this. Um, Itchid, it is your turn. It's me, okay. Uh, I have a couple of questions, for one for Tom and then one for the group. How heavy is the box? Super light. It was light, light last time. How light is light? It's not mage hand light, if you're thinking mage hand. It's not mage hand. Uh, it's lighter than it looks, but it's something that takes a full person to lift. Yeah, it takes a full person, so l more than five pounds. More than five pounds. <laughs> Interesting. Um, in that case, uh, I think I'm just going to help with the pig. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go, Itchard is going to go, I need to stay within 30 feet. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Itchard is going to go to here, which I think is one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yep. Uh, and he's going to fire uh, Wormling at the yeah. pig. So he's going to unholster his gun and um, so that is <laughs> nat one. <laughs> oh no! And that one. Uh, the spark leaves your finger, it moves across the filigree and lights those initials TC again. Um, stronger this time, the lightning one seems to crack a lot of these letters out into the air, but... <laughs> uh, and then he's going to yip yip and see if the, f <laughs> see if the cannon can do anything better. Uh, so that's going to be 5, 10, 15 to there. Um, and that's going to fire as well. The pig. Uh, and that's a nat 20. Oh, yeah, there you go. That one dies twice, please. So 4d8. 4d8. Fuck yeah. <laughs> On blood okay. sausage. Okay, so that's a 7. That is a 7. That's 14. That's a 4. Uh, that's 18. 18. 20. 20 wow. damage. And it's moved 5 feet back. Mm. Nice. Pig is moved five feet backwards. Um, Does that give Lever an uh, opportunity of If attack? it's pushed away oh. by another force, then opportunity attacks. Oh, it's, um, it's only if it runs, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're fleeing. It's just, this will yeah. just instantly happen. Right, I see. Um, that is a very I good mean, turn. Nice. Like, uh, yeah, like mid, yeah. <laughs> Balanced. Yeah, this, this thing, <laughs> I mean, this thing is looking pretty, for something so powerful, yeah. it's starting to look a bit battered now. Um, there are blisters on its skin. Um, it's bleeding a little. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's moving a little oddly. Lucian. Itch is looking at like Wormling and then he's looking at Fing Fang Boom like. My <laughs> favourite toy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so in that case, I will move uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then I cast Toll the Dead on the pig. Uh, it's just about in range. Um, I point at it, and throughout the square, there's the sound of a dolorous bell. Mm. Boom. Um, it must succeed a wisdom saving throw, or take uh, 1d8 necrotic damage, except it's already injured, so it takes 1d12 if it fails. Mm. Okay. Uh, what can I save him throw again? Uh, wisdom. Surely wisdom. it's not a wise pig. <laughs> As pigs go, no, it, that's a 11, <laughs> a 10, sorry, 10, it's wisdom threat, safe. Excellent. Uh, yeah, my, sp uh, yeah, it's got to be a 12. Or an, uh, right, uh, so it's going to take d12 damage. Oh, here we go. Oh, come come on. on. Just be more than a three, please. An eight. Mm. Better than a three. Yeah. It's I know, math. <laughs> 20. 
Yeah, from where the wounds inflicted by the cannon were, it now starts to wither and some of its big muscular piggy mass is smaller. It looks unwell. It's starting to look really weak. Not so weak, though, that it can't still act. Okay. It's going to move back 10 feet mm -hmm. and then yeah. move forward 20. Mm -hmm. And it's going to charge at you, Lever. Yeah. E uh, let's see, that is a plus five to hit. Um, that is a ten. It doesn't hit. Ooh. I've got an armor class of twelve. Oh. Um, it collides into you, but it, with its body weakened by Toll the Dead, there's less strength in its muscles and yeah. it can't seem to push you back. Great. You lock your like jaws lock with its horns. Mm -hmm. um, and that is its turn. Oh my gosh. Uh, Slambo, uh, can you make a wisdom saving throw? Indeed. Come on, Slambo. If this doesn't pay off, then somebody's got to. Uh, I've just got to really hope that I get hit yeah. in this next turn because otherwise my rage will end mm -hmm. and I will, oh, shit, yeah. I will suffer one level of exhaustion. Uh, 16. <gasps> that passes. Yes! Yes! Some rages yes, cannot be quelled. <laughs> oh. And you power through the paralysis. Whatever magic the Reverend is trying to harness is no match for your limitless yeah. anger. Smash um, that's the end of your turn though, to do that, yeah. but you're free again. Still got to hope that they hit me, because <laughs> otherwise my um, rage will end. Um, uh, Tobian. Okay. Uh, in that case, do you want me to leave the one next to you alone? Oh yes, please, please. Go okay. for the priest if you're going for anyone. Stop him concentrating. Yeah. It will, I mean, I'm sure even if I get hit a little bit, it's fine. Oh, so, I mean, it's up to you. What are you doing, Tobian? I'm going to go for the priest. I'm going to get in here. Oh, it's such a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, Has his concentration already been broken, the priest, because he saved? Oh, yeah, no, actually, no, don't go for the priest necessarily. Yeah, his, his spell's gone. Already gone. Yeah, yeah, already already spell been gone. Done. That so spell you, is gone. Uh, go for the priest you want to. Okay, well, for me, it's me. best to go, well, yeah, it is best for, to go for the person next to you, but I will just go for this guy without yeah. advantage, and that's or without sneak attack. That's fine. Um, just a plain old attack. Uh, so here we go with my rapier. That is eleven. So I, I rolled a five plus six. That will you're going for the this guy. guy with the axe. Uh, let's see. Eleven, did he say? Yeah. That doesn't hit. <sighs> yeah, close, but. Not quite. Okay. Um, could get out of there. I could get out of there. Yeah. Okay. I will use uh, my cunning action to disengage. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to move a little bit back. Do you want me to stay near you? No, no. You no? can get You're get right. as far away as you like because um, I want to draw as much heat as possible. Yeah. Okay. So really I'll go really five, ten. 15, 20. I'll go here. I don't want to get too out of here, but um, a little bit. Okay, Del. Okay, I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on... Who can I see? Because it can I not... Is Tobian blocking my... I uh, know you can see them all, I would say. Okay. <coughs> uh, so I'm gonna go for this one. Yeah, all you need to do is like move one space to the left and you can get that guy. Okay, could someone move me? Amazing. Great. Mm -hmm. So, Hunter's Mark, and then I'm just going to try and hit him with my longbow. That's a four. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> Plus. Seven, right? Seven. That hits. <gasps> you are nice. very good at a longbow. Shocker. Mm. Okay. And then I've got my 1d8. That's a four. Plus three. And then I get another 1d6. Another three. So four plus three plus three, three is, of course, everybody knows. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Math. <laughs> Straight for the heart again. And I'm always to blame. And he is down yeah. and out. Oh, yeah. nice. Very nice. So on your turn, well you can done. use a bonus action now to move the hunter's mark onto a new target. Yes. Because yeah, you've previous target died. Absolutely. Mm. Take that, okay. you're weak dead, Slambo dead, cosplayers. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Slambo cosplayers. Um, Axe. Yeah, it's weird being at the Slambo convention with Slambo, isn't it? <laughs> um, Axe is going to move here next to Hammer to go. get advantage on his attack. Um, he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, 
That's an out 20. Oh, wow. Oh, you can't beat that. Well, that'll be some damage, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be raging still. <laughs> oh, that's I'm going to be furious after this. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's 10, 11, um, half to 6. Great. Cool. That's fine. That's all good. Happy with that? Nice. Um, Very happy with that. And then Hammer is going to follow up with the same thing because he's next to one of his pack. Mm -hmm. He gets advantage two. Six misses. The 19 hits. Oh, uh, and his need. hammer hits you for uh, five, half to three. Okay, great. Mm. That one is dead. Um, we're back at the top of the order with Lever. Okay, I'm going to pull back from the hog, which means it will get a, a, an attack if it wants it. Um, because I'm going to get ready to properly pounce it again. Cool. Um, you get a hog. It's going to swing at you for a. That'll probably hit. That's going to be a 19. Yep, yeah, my AC's 12. That is a 6. That's okay. That's totally fine. I'm still at 31. Um, okay, I go back 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever it is. I'm going back 20, and then I'm going forward 20, <laughs> and I am going to try and just like barrel over it and get it on its back. That's what I want to do. Okay, make your attack first. Um, I will, I will, I will, I will. Do a little cat bum shake yeah. before you do the pounce. Yeah, yeah. 14. That, that hits. Okay. Very so nice. let's do damage first for that attack. Let's do damage for that attack. 1d4 plus 3. 1 plus 3, 4. Uh, yeah, that's a, a solid strike. This thing is nearing its last legs. Now it's going to make a strength save, uh, which is a... Um, Eleven. <gasps> it fails! Yes! It's prone, and now I get to bite its throat. Make your bite attack. Um, so I rolled to hit again. Um, plus five. Come on, Thirteen plus five, eighteen. Beautiful. Um, I guess it hits. Yeah. Um, and 1d10 plus three is my damage. Where? I did that one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Five plus three, eight. Can you please describe to me the animal ferocity with which you finish off this boar? I like nothing less than being called a beast. And in being called a beast, something bestial has like just torn out of me. And I am just like half claw attack, half bite attack. I've managed to do both and I'm just tearing the throat open of this boar. However thick it is, I don't care. I'm getting in. Itchard is just watching this because he's just pointing all of his guns that way and he's just kind of... Torn apart, oh, butchered, oh. like so much pork and bacon. Uh, blood sausage is no more. Is that your turn? That's my turn. That's, uh... Yeah, something. That's my turn. Nice. You guys are making mincemeat of these people. Um, Slambo, mm -hmm. give me a dex save. Uh, that is going to be 9 plus 2, 11. 11, that is a miss. Uh, this is not piercing or slashing damage, so you're going to take this full. If this boiling blood lands down you, four points of damage. Okay. How are you doing, Slambo? Uh, okay, not too bad. There are definitely people who are more. Um, and again, give me another dex save. Uh, that is, ah, oh, that's 8 plus 2, so 10. That'll be the same. Um, oh, that's another one. Okay. Uh, and finally, one more deck safe. Oh. Uh, <gasps> oh, that 20. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one, even though you receive the full brunt of this blast, um, your powerful body simply shrugs it off. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Nice. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Seeing the evisceration of blood sausage, the reverend screams, screams in fury. Um, and no, no more waiting. We do it now. And he finally parts the metal enough in the uh, iron box in front of him until he can reach his hands in, reaches inside, grabs the burning horned helmet and puts it atop his head. Oh, God. Uh, it melts slightly into his skull and then his body begins to swell and puff. His muscles grow bigger, his limbs grow longer, his body grows bulbous and heavy until it's too much for the weight of these now insufficient legs. His ears begin to twist and point out. His nose shortens and widens and flattens. 
a row of nasty teeth spread across his face and where the Reverend Clancy once stood, oh my a God. horrible pig man um, now oh, sits in oh, his place. Oh, no. God, look at the state of that. Oh, oh dear. dear me. Who's the beast now? Oh, God. Oh, Let me add him. I'll handle this. I recognise this guy. Yeah, I, um, yeah. You know this guy? I recognise that. Well, Eagle, I don't, don't recognise this. I haven't met him before, but yeah. As the skull is removed from the chest um, and its sort of blazing light spreads out across the courtyard, you begin to hear a commotion from further down the hill. Um, and then the log palisades that surround the town begin to rattle and shake under the pressure of something great. And the deafening howl of wolves begins to spread in all directions from around you. Oh, fuck. What Goodness is me. in the okay, shit? Okay, we need to do this quick. It's gonna melt. <laughs> On his turn, uh, he's gonna heal as part of that transformation. And also. Oh, for crying out loud! <laughs> just. Uh, that's a six. Touch a hunt, man. <laughs> yeah. The jaws snap again, but miss you. Itchard, you are up. Itchard? Uh, Itchard is going to start wailing on the big guy, I think. Is he still he's, he's still being protected, though, isn't he? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25. Yeah, Itchard's going to go 5, 10, uh, and I'm going to shoot this little chap. Is he the one protecting him? No, it's the one on the back, but I don't know. How, maybe I can get one, two. No, I'll go, yeah, 5, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, and I think what, 5, 10, 15. Yeah, yeah, that's enough to get the guy. So I'm going to get shoot the guy who's concentrating. Cool, go uh, for it. With Wormling. What colour is he? Uh, yellow. Yellow. Uh, that is a 16 plus 5. That'll hit. Uh, that's 21. Uh, and he takes, uh, is it 1d10? It's 1d10. Um, yeah, 1d10 plus 3. Uh, so he's going to take, oh, wow. Four damage. <laughs> Thank you, D10. Wow. Is that plus the three? Yeah, oh. plus three. Takes so the hit. One, one plus It'll three. Break so his concentration. Adds, yeah, four, and then he see if it breaks his Let's concentration. Con save. Um, it does not. He maintains. Oh. Oh, Bloody damn. hell! Yep, yep. Uh, and here comes this guy. Uh, Thing Fang Boom is going to move five, ten, fifteen, and fire at him as well. Okay. Come uh, on, man. Uh, that's a six plus five, though, so that's eleven. Um, that's on the same guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, he is blasted. Well, sorry, that's oh, 11 to hit. So oh, 11 uh, does hit, yeah. Yeah, uh, which means I get 2d8. Uh, 4, uh, 5. Uh, yeah, that's 5 total. 4 and a 1. Uh, he is still going. Uh, just about. Uh, what oh. about his concentration? Let's make concentration save. Um, which he fails. Yes. Nice. And he's moved 5 feet back as well in a straight line from the gun. Mm -hmm. So, so okay. about that way, yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to move over towards Turbian. <gasps> Hi. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to cast on this thing. <gasps> yeah. Using my second level spell slot, I'm going to cast... Uh, oh, no. Maths, 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 maths. What's going to be best? Yeah, Ray of Sickness, mm. which means I'll be casting with three... It'll be 3d8 damage instead of two. I just have to hit. Come I on. can do it. Come on, come on. How hard can it be? <laughs> Massive. That's a three. <laughs> oh, that's four. That's seven. That's a miss, I'm afraid. Oh, oh, oh piss. Oh, that sucks. That sucks, <laughs> buddy. Ah. You can hit the broadside of a barn. Oh, no. That's bad. I'll just have to go with my dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the wizard! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, there we go. Uh, fantastic. Aww. Anything else you'd have to do, Dom? Uh, nah, nah, I'd probably do. <laughs> oh, that's rough, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Slambo. Come on, Slambo. Right. Uh, I'm going to recklessly attack the guy yeah. straight ahead of me. Axel Hammer. Um, Hammer. Hammer. You Fuck took everything him. from me. I'm going to take everything from you. Okay, so that's eight, but I'm going to roll with advantage. So I'm recklessly attacking. Fifteen, yes. Nice. Five. That hits. And 
that's going to be a D12 plus 5. That is a, uh, a 9 plus 5, so that's 14. 14 damage. How do you finish him? Oh. <gasps> I, I, with my ex, I'm just going to slice him in half. <laughs> <laughs> Bifurcated. <laughs> like, so much. Great. And, what uh, gets cut in half? Melons. Melons, done. <laughs> <laughs> like so many melons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't get ideas, Del. <laughs> because I'm in a frenzy, I can, uh, I can uh, uh, use a single melee, uh, a single melee weapon attack uh, as a bonus action. Um, so I can attack the other guy. Yeah. Okay, you're going back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. This is just a normal. Now that's oh. 14 plus 5. That hits. Oh, yes, yeah, Slambo! Come on, Slambo. That's 5. Uh, oh, that's cocked. That's 2 plus 5, so 7. Nice. 7. I'm not quite bifurcated, but badly hurt oh. as your axe cracks through his armor and into his flesh. Tobin. All right. I'm going to run up to this big guy. 5, 10, 15... No, I'll do... 15. Um, and I'm going to take a swing at him. And now, because he's the only one next to me, I get Rakish Audacity, which uh, is new for me, so I'll explain it very quickly. Um, uh, I don't need advantage on an attack roll to use sneak attack against a creature if you are within five feet of it and no other creatures are within five feet of you. Mm. So, I'm going to attack him with my rapier. Is, it, is that this. a swashbuckler thing? Yes. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Rakish Oh, it's a nat 20! Yeah. Yes! Yes. <laughs> okay. Roll all your damage does twice, Ooh. including your sneak attack done. Fuck yeah, yes. boy. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Three. Two, Five. one, <laughs> come on, Eight. three, nine. nine plus four, thirteen. Thirteen. That oh, is so a more. solid hit. <laughs> yeah. um, whatever changes are happening in the Reverend's body are still changing, and as you sink that rapier into his flesh, he deflates a little in the process. Okay. Um, Del. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry, good work. Because uh, I don't want to be next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use a cunning action uh, as a bonus action and disengage mm -hmm. and Very good. get away from there because I still have some movement left. Five, ten, fifteen. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cat like batting yeah, yeah, something yeah. and going. <laughs> 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 Let's see nails Del. scraping on the floor. Yeah, hunter's mark. Before you do, yes. um, something else has entered the initiative oh. order. Um, you hear something only your ears can probably pick up on: soft footsteps behind you, as if coming from a height. And like slippers across grass, something softly runs up behind you, and you find yourself flanked by Coral, <gasps> wielding a sword and a bow. Oh, wow. Well, what's going on here then? Looks like some bad guys. You interested? Well, you know what we do to monsters, don't we? I've got some idea. Uh, while Coral is next to you, uh, you will get advantage. I see she's taking the help action each turn. You're oh, going to get advantage on Amazing. your attacks. Sweet. OK. Me and my girlfriend. <laughs> OK. Yeah. I'm going to put my hunter's mark right over his nose. Nice. Put it over his eyes. <laughs> it's Coral, like, helping you just like the bow. Like, yeah, yeah, like, go. Oh, <laughs> You're oh. so strong. <laughs> Unchained melody playing in the background. Uh, I'm rolling a d20 for my delightful longbow. That's a 10 plus 7. You can also get advantage, so you can roll again and see if you crit. It's always worth doing. That's true. It's a 7. Well, oh, no. the first one's a hit, so yeah. that counts. Great. Uh, so I've got my... 1d8, that's a 5. And then, because of my hunter's mark, I get to roll d6. Uh, 1. So 6 damage. Lovely. Let me just check the speed on that. Six damage. Um, again, the size of this thing shrinks a little as the arrow pierces. Um, yeah, Coral fires an arrow off. It, its head turns to follow it, and as its attention is not focused, your arrow lands. 
Beautiful. Ooh. Dead, dead, dead. Not dead. Okay. That is blue. Seeing this new threat. Going to go for you. Just a, a, yeah. a small thing, very yeah. quick thing. This guy hasn't moved in a long while. I don't know whether he's gone out of Ooh. your initiative order. Gang, I've kind of forgotten about an NPC. Somehow he left my initiative order. It happens. We're going to move on. Uh, he's just been really enjoying the show. Been, yeah, he's, he's been biding his time. He's been like cheering for them. Yeah. He's, he's been like, like yeah, that guy from the Yakuza in that Simpsons episode. Where he's like, he's not moving. He's so going to do is. something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is he's like, he's not really into the cult thing. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. sort of like sort uh, of in. Yeah, he's seen something quite horrific. Maybe he was. Maybe he's one of those people. So this sounds fun. This seems like he got to do this cult. Oh no! Holy shit! Oh, wait a minute. Sucks. What's yeah. this? Oh, he's no. just watched this big monster um, burst out of the yeah. bloke who he recruited him. who's like a nice reverend. It's like he's such a nice reverend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> morale failure. Yeah. 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 Same morale failure. He does look like he's sort of scratching the back of his head with his sword. I'm not sure about that this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, that hits. He is going to do uh, three damage. Half to two. Uh -huh. um, and, and this guy, nice guy, we now remember, oh, is going to yeah. hit Tobian. Hello. He's like, oh fuck, yeah, I suppose you would do that. Yeah, snaps out of his stupor <laughs> as I snap out of mine. Um, and that is a 19 plus that's going to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, that'll do it. Uh, and he's going to deal you three damage. Okay. Now, this guy is going to come for you, Dale. Now give me a deck save if you wouldn't mind. 14 um, plus that's, three. Yep, that's enough. Mm -hmm. Very good doubt. I'm a ranger, baby. <laughs> uh, give me another one. That one. Oh. That's it. That's just a straight miss. That's just going to be. Uh, flame is eight. Uh, that's going to be seven damage. Eesh. Luckily, that's the first damage you take. Yeah, I can take it. And then another. Uh, yeah, we'll take one more. Oh, no, nine plus three. Um, that will do it, just. Okay. Yeah, that's the spell safe DC. Ooh. Grand. Um. Oh, God. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he moving. Oh, no, King Glutz on the oh, move. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't just shoving his guys out of the way. Excuse me. I didn't realize he could move. <laughs> yeah, I didn't either. I'm I thought he was froggy just going to <laughs> Hi. Sorry about sticking you in the belly. It's sort of like a piggy froggy thingy. Looks so sweaty. Looks like pasta he sat on. Pasta. pasta. <laughs> Fusily. Like a little pasta. <laughs> that is a natural 20. Oh, oh this is cool. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's oh, not no, 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 no. You're going to get fucked up by King and Chigley. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that is a 20 damage with this claw straight across <gasps> you. I'm down. Oh, no, I'm no, no. down. I'm 100% down. No. Help! Help! Oh, God! That's, 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 that's <laughs> no. really I'm stood near you going, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling a dagger <laughs> out <laughs> of his book. Yeah. Come on, then. I think I just go, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it, it's your turn. Okay. I don't think I can help Toby in right now. I can't reach him, but I can pounce on this guy. Five, 10, 15. My speed is 40 as a tiger. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And I pounce. And as I do it, I say, who's the beast now? And I pull him backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in blood. <laughs> Who's on face yeah. now? Um, yeah, okay. as, as you roar that out, the walls of the, well, the palisade walls shake again. Um, the howling of the walls grow louder. Um, you hear heavy pounding from down the bottom of the hill. <laughs> okay, well, no time like the present. Let's get this guy. Um, so I'm going to, I've pounced. I'm going to roll for my claw attack first. That is 10. Not plus anything? That's 5 plus 5. That oh. doesn't hit. Then that's it. Uh, although he must also succeed a... I think he has to succeed hits, it anyway. Or is it, is it hits, hits? Yeah. Oh, fuck. 
Unlucky. Anything else in your turn? Um, no. <laughs> I'm just going to look like an idiot, like rolling <laughs> on my back <laughs> behind me. Who is the beast now? Who is the beast now? Good shit. Okay. Can you get Toby and up? Uh, uh, I don't know. Can I? Would I be able to? Can you, heal? Can you heal? I mean, can you heal or can you... I'm a proper doctor. I'm not. <laughs> do you have yeah. Do you have a healer's kit at all on you? Uh, I do. I do. Won't that take you time? Can just stabilize <laughs> me. Will that take time? As an action, you can expend one of its ten uses to stabilize a creature, so okay. I'm not dying okay, anymore. So I can do that. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go yep yep, and uh, Fing Fang Boom is going to move to here and he's going to fire at Axe, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is five plus five is ten. Uh, that does not hit. <sighs> okay. In which case, uh, what's the best thing to do? I think Slambo can still deal with that. Yeah. So I am going <coughs> to, because you're not going to attack on your turn, you're going to spend your turn helping. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take a little, it should reach into his pouch, takes a little orb, it unfolds into a blue dragon and flies out uh, to hover above Lucian's head. Um, let me just double check the range on this. 30 feet, so I do need to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it should all move to here. Uh, which is 20 feet from him, and use this little blue dragon orb, and it's going to fly above you and start to circle you, uh, projecting these little trails of lightning that forms like a sort of Faraday cage around you. Fantastic. Uh, which is casting Sanctuary. And then we run away. <laughs> so we'll give you that's, a... The, that's fine, but hopefully it just helps you, <laughs> means you more difficult to hit while you're saving Tobia. I don't help you at all, I just run away. <laughs> so Lucian, you're up. Uh, I'll do that then. Um, I'll run this way and out. No. <laughs> oh my god, I was going to say. <laughs> away. And um, I shove a load of herbs, presumably, into Tobin's mouth. Catnip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Tobin, you were stabilised. You, know, you no longer need to make um, saving throws. You're still at zero hit points, so you'll need yeah. healing to go conscious. Okay. Um, but you are stable. Is that your turn? Uh, I might m move some more. Is that sure, wise? Yeah. Um, Get out of the range. How much did I move there? Like five, really. Uh, I'm going to move my full 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> <laughs> Just going straight behind down. Brave, Lucian. Brave, brave, brave. Slumbo, you're up. All right, uh, we're going to go for the X guy with a reckless attack. <laughs> I need to survive to write the God, story. I think I've got advantage on this. Oh, oh no. So it's, it, five plus five It's not going to be enough. Um, no, that's not going to hit, I'm afraid. Jeez. Um, um, do I still get my... Because uh, I'm still frenzying. Uh, still, you attack as a bonus action. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, the, if unless it's got a condition like you have to hit with your first one, yes, you can still make the yeah, bonus yeah. action. Yeah, that's a bonus action, so I'll hit him with this one, I guess. Oh, it's a f fucking four. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't take damage for your next turn... Yeah, then I'll be out the uh, rage and frenzy. Tobian, you are stable. Um, but unconscious, and in your unconsciousness, you find yourself floating, mm -hmm. surrounded on all sides by inky black sea. Something huge stirs in the waters below you. The faintest crackle of electric blue light from far off in the inky depths beneath you. Crackles again, coming closer. Coral, uh, you then like your eyes burst open as Coral uh, rests a hand on you and. Do, 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 do. Oh, dear, Coral. Oh, Coral. Thank you for bringing the healing, oh. Coral. <laughs> Bless up, Coral. Thank you, Del, for making <laughs> friends. Uh, heals you for. Uh, four hit points, okay. and you burst awake. <sighs> okay. uh, Del, because Cole's used to reaction to heal, you've lost your advantage on this turn, but it is your turn. All right, time to fire on, fire on him once more. Mm. Oh, seven plus seven. That is fourteen, and where are you, big fella? That hits. Yes. Okay. Okay. Is that the right one? Five plus three plus six. <gasps> How yes. much is that? Yeah. So that's 14. A, yeah, fourteen. Fourteen exactly. Yeah. <gasps> Where are you aiming for, Del? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
his big head. <laughs> I'm going to fire it straight through the eye socket and try oh. and knock the helmet off his head. Of course. The healing light leaving her hand, Coral releases it from Tobian's chest, looks at you, holds the pendant tightly, her chest, meets your gaze. And then you turn, you draw the arrow, you pull back, it soars through the air, piercing this huge piggish head and with a, a viscous goop, a white tacky goop, the horned crown leaves the head of this huge piggish figure. A jet of blood and fire and howling leaves this puncture wound you've made in this thing's skull and after a whirling maelstrom of gruesome flesh all that is left behind is a small looking man desperately clinging on to this skull no no i i i had i had power i was I was an animal. I was... No. No. There is a thunderous crash of massive logs splintering from further down the hill as the already rising howl of a wolf pack becomes deafening. Footsteps small and heavy pound up the hill. The remnants of the gate leading from the lower ward to the upper ward splinters and charging through atop a flaming steed in a burst of almost imperceptible velocity this thing runs through grabs its head raises back on its hind legs uh, and taking a horn from its belt just rests it above the hole where its head used to be a sound like wind rattling through bone spreads throughout the courtyard and throughout the town of border and a torrent of wild animals speed up the hill to where you are the horse turns despite its head being missing for a moment its body seems to be facing each of you in turn and then in a flash of flame and fury it is gone back down the hill and out of the town. There is this huge torrent of animals. Um, you hear screams coming from down below. Um, Coral looks to you. The main gate isn't safe. Is there, is there another way out of here? Yes. Oh, so there's a tunnel? Yes, we can take the tunnel. The Contessa's tunnel. Okay. Well, are we going? Yeah, let's run. Yeah, what are these it's lads awesome. doing? <laughs> They're just yeah. like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you run the direction of the tunnel, these like, wolves and boars and beasts you've never seen before swarm into the courtyard, um, tearing apart in an instant whatever is left of the reverence cult. Mm. You make your way through the open door of the keep, down through the steps into the tunnel. The, as the town begins to shake, uh, you hear the sound of crumbling and cracking stone and the pathway in front of you is immediately blocked by a huge chunk of rock that blocks your exit um, out the way you came. To your right, in the subterranean river you passed on your last trip through here, standing on a large ferry <laughs> is a man with a warm smile and an oar. Hey. I <laughs> it should scampers up, chucks two gold at him and just jumps on the ferry and says, <laughs> I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> Let's go. You've already paid your toll, but I appreciate the tip. Okay. I I grab Coral and pull her onto the boat and I say, this is for her, this is for her. And I pay him way more than I did the first <laughs> time. <laughs> pay him like yeah. A sufficient fare and a bit more. Okay. The seven of you now board this ferry um, and as the sound of roars and screams and flames echo down from the keep and the town above, you are ferried with gentle strokes 
cross this dark river. You break into what is now the cover of nightfall, and even the moon is not strong enough to penetrate the tree canopy. You can see the sight of flames burning from where the town of Border stands, or where it stood, before it was raised to the ground. And then, as the trees grow thicker, a feeling of peace passes across you, and try as you might, can't stop the exhaustion of sleep from taking over your bodies. You wake some time later in a familiar place, a moat of inconsistent size, leading you to a smaller piece of civilization on the other side of the tree line. A guard tower has its light on right by the shore and a strong looking woman waits for you as the ferry reaches its dock. Well, off you get. I'm sure I'll be seeing you all soon. Thank you. Sticks. Thank you, Sticks. Thank you. I put two gold coins into his cup as I get <laughs> off. I'm just silent. And as he disembark, makes his way back into the fog of the moat and is gone. Waiting next to Rig, a man with scruffy hair and fine features, fine clothes. The man who hired you all, Dev Malik, is waiting. I am going to give you all just a moment with Dev to collect the payment that you asked for on this job. And we're going to start with Richard. Good work, Richard. Thank you, Dad. That was pretty scary, actually. Real scary. Do I have the thing I asked for? I don't. But now you know who does. And he looks to Lever. Lever. The mighty hero, another monster slain. Yeah, just another day of the job. Have you got my payment? I have your money, and you've made your own glory, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Lucian. Mm. Well, like our small and scaly friend, seems the object you're after is a little closer than you thought. Yes, I wondered as much. We're not after the same thing, are we? Are we? Maybe. Well, huh. in that case, I might have a job for you. It's not a good job. And then I, I look back to him and I say, uh, do you know if my wife's Okay, or...? As far as I know, business is good. Oh, good. Well, that's all right then. Do you have my loophole? I know where you might be able to find it. Now, something has ownership of that body, yes. if I understand right. Well, let me tell you this. It wasn't theirs to claim. That belongs to something even older. And if you return to the temple, you may find it. Thank you. Thank you, Dev. Do you have what I asked you for? He hands you a card with a boar on it, holding a dove in its mouth and undress on the back. 
It's time to get back to the city. Slambo. What? Thank you. Do I see this? Mm-hmm. But we'll move on to Del. <sighs> <clears throat> well, that was horrible. <laughs> Cheeky man. The keys, please. <clears throat> the things that people here have asked for. And this is all you want. That's all I need. As a show of kindness to someone doing the work we need done. Why settle for a year? And the place is yours. <clears throat> but there may be another place available for you that is not mine to offer. Coral comes up to you. I lost the cliche is a lot of good men in what happened there. But that's the cliche and the truth is all of them. You're a good ranger, Del. And there's a place for you in the Queen's hand if you want it. Do I get paid? The pay is good. And you'll be there? I will be. <clears throat> I'll have my eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sound, sounds good. <laughs> I said back to Dev and say, sorry I called you cheeky. It's really, thanks, thanks for the place, it's great. <laughs> Dawn rises on the edge of the wild. All stories have a beginning. But the start is but part of the whole. So, as our first chapter closes, allow me to call out the roll. <laughs> Behold the smallest of champions. What wonders will his mind devise? So far from the glitter of home hoard, where storm clouds now brew in the skies. Now, some do their work in the soil, digging for secrets profound. Great knowledge must be uncovered, but madmen belong in the ground. And now from the ground to the ocean, where a dread pirate once sailed the waves. Their flag is fading from memory, their legend bookended by graves. Some here have unfinished business, where the lords of society feast, where, under the mask of refinement, a man bears the face of a beast. Some bear the mantle of hero, but can't seem to get it to fit, driven by life and by fury and falling apart at the split. And from those whose name is a symbol to those who don't wish to be seen, now warmly marked in the sunlight by the hand and the eye of the Queen. And so we continue our journey as the sun starts its crawl to the west. Ah. The call of the wild is alluring, but so is the call of the quest. And that is it for our starter oh. series of Chaotic Mutual Place Dungeons and Dragons. We hope to see you soon. Bravo. Oh, oh Tom! Tom. 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 Well done. Table father! Table father! <laughs> <laughs>